let's go. Right, well, we ain't messing around today. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hello. The music's done. That's it. We're starting. Uh, hello. I hope you're all good. So, Dista, thank you for the very long resub, dude. Dista, thank you, dude. Mini Stash, thank you for the seven. Uh, cheers for coming in. We're starting on Livonia. Probably going to switch to Alteria a little bit later. But no floor play. No, we're, war we're roaring straight in. Straight in today. No lube. Straight in. Oh, God. This is Colin Brody by the look of it. Brody, eh? Hmm. Can probably live with Colin Brody. I don't know, actually. Colin Brody's a bit central. I think I might suicide. I'll have Sitnik or Grabbin or Topolin. All the inns. I want all the inns. Which makes sense if we're roaring straight in, doesn't it? Let's go. Oh, come on, where's there a Z? There we are. Right, if I die on the road, someone can have my food. Can't they? Hi, Grandpa. How are you doing? Good morning from Ohio. Hello. Right, uh, Philip. Thank you for the follow on uh, on YouTube. Uh, Nightbreed. Thank you for the support, dude. Cheers for the uh, uh, cheers for the gifted subs, Nightbreed. That's very, very kind, dude. Thank you very, very much, Pug. Thank you as well. Hype train incoming. Whoa. When is update 124? Five days from now. It, it lands on the 20th of Feb. Greetings from Vienna. Oh, sounds nice. Oh, Vienna. Uh, I, I don't really know. This might be good. Ah, it is. It is good, I think. Yeah, very good. This is uh, this is where I was saying I wanted to be. Very, very good. Uh, today's stream, just full transparency, guys. Today's stream might be uh, short. Uh, I finally finished the fucking pills, which I'm very pleased about, but I've got a fucking headache from hell this morning. I've drunk plenty of water. I've been nice and hydrated. I've been out to the outside, had a walk and everything, but yeah. Headache, headache from hell this morning. It's kind of backing off a bit, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, CSFX, thank you for the five months. Cheers for the support. UK weather does feel weird today, doesn't it? 15 degrees Celsius. I've just, I just, I went on the walk. I took a little raincoat. I was wearing jeans and a polo shirt. And after about 100 metres of the walk, I ended up just wearing the t-shirt. So I've just, I've just done like, I don't know, a, I was out for more than an hour anyway. I, I did something like 9,000 steps in one Thanks go, for roughly. turning me on to red breast whiskey. Dude, you are welcome. Good. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've done me steps for the day, pretty much, but the... Uh, it's aggroed, not at me. Well, that implies that they've just been through here, doesn't it? Okay, well, there's no point carrying on with that, is there? Face it, they're going to go to the police station. Is there another guy on the road then? No, oh, it's a tree. You know, easily done. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that uh, that implies that the that area there has been looted. I'm going to go to the other side. They're going to go to the PD and the well and whatnot. I'm going to go to the other side and hoover up the hunting loop before they can get to it. I think. Uh, Kill Dylas, thank you very much for the three months. Everyone get raid laid last night. That's the sort of question that someone that's not been laid in ages, but did get laid last night asks, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, Kildilus, thank you very much for the three months. Maxka, thank you for the two. Boots, thank you for the 11. Michael, cheers for the gifted sub. CFX, CFX thank you for the resub. And Pug as well, thank you very much. Dr. Four Eyes, yeah, I don't very often look behind myself, but, behind myself, but I've, I've got the... Hey, oh, boy. shit. Hello. You alright, dude?
I ain't looking for any trouble. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Are you with the other guy? Uh, ten minutes ago, two guys killed me. I've right, just seen right two there. guys crossing the field going towards the police station. One of them had a hunting backpack. I've just seen two players going towards the police station. They were at that summer camp over show, there. I can show you backpack. I can show you backpack. I don't need a bag, dude, but if you're looking for those two players, I think they're that way. You're all good. I'm going to go this way. Good luck. I don't need a bag. Good luck. Good luck. Marco from Procosia. Or Crocosia. I can't remember. Duck. Didn't you spawn out good? Uh, Medlin, that was on Alteria. This is uh, Livonia. I don't always carry on with, with the, the straight, straight sort of shoot from yesterday's character. Sometimes I start on a different server. Oh my god, my fucking noggin. Just need to quickly loot these. They can have good shit sometimes. And then we're going to do the other side, go to the well. So I think there's three players here. I don't think... I don't think he was one of the other two killing the Zed. I think he's another dude. So there's three players. Uh, hopefully he bumps into them. Maybe there'll be some uh, shenanigans. Anything that will delay him over that way while I can hoover up all the good stuff this side. That'll be good. Set of fireworks and run. Hmm, I don't know. I think I'll swerve that for now. The, uh... I'm going to have that. Maybe I'm not. It looks better. It matches my uh, my winter coif. Deductive sociopath. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Oh, it didn't last long, did it? Skull mask. Whoa, now we're bad. Bad to the bone. Leather pants. Let's get to the blue oyster. There isn't actually too much to loot this side. If we do a couple of houses, I could get extraordinarily lucky and find me a uh, find me a shotgun, couldn't I? Let's open them. That would be good. I'd quite like a shotgun right about now. I should have taken that. I, I don't remember where it was now, but there was a uh, there was a fucking chest vest, wasn't it? Like a, a plate, an armor one. I should have took it. <laughs> Stomach uh, a little bit better, Wrath. Uh, thank you. Yeah, but my head. Um, I, I, I presume it's just where I've come off the fucking... When I started taking them, I got a headache for a couple of days, and now I've stopped taking them, I've got a headache today, and it's fucking horrible. feel a little bit dizzy and a little bit queasy. Just what I need is running around in first-person Daisy. that'll help. I don't think it'll last too long, hopefully, but yeah, I, I, I felt better. Uh, Chilean, thank you very much for the prime. I woke up this morning, I've got my eyes, this, god, I'm just like a, a cacophony of issues right now, but my dry eyes are fucking horrendous as well, so I've had a little, like, a heat pack on my eyes this morning, and I've done all the right things, I need to, need to probably do that every day for a week, just to get my eyes sorted as well. I woke up, I woke up in the night, and my eyes were watering in the night, like, while I was asleep, and my eyes were watering. <laughs> that's not good, is it? <laughs> that's not very, that's not going to help very good. I woke up this morning, I, my left eye was all blurry, I couldn't really see very well. I think they should add different colour lighters into the game. I think that's probably a really important key feature that's missing. Oh, fucking. Okay, I think we'll not go there then. These have bullets. Thank you for what you do. <laughs> uh, 
had one bullet. <sighs> I'm not sure I hit that. It, it felt like it was just on the right side of his sort of stomach or chest, but I don't think it hit. It might have hit. It could, if that was the same dude. He had a stab vest on, which means he would have tanked it anyway. Give him a free shot. <coughs> Quite a good shot. Oh, that, if only that had been a shotgun. Now I'm now I'm yellow health. I've got no bandage. This is going to be an excellent start, I'd say. Yeah, I think it's the BK, dude. D dude, that guy's shooting at me on the roof. You can see him. Are you really going to shoot me? What, what do you want of, of my massive amount of loot? You can have all of it. I've got... What have I got? I've got a lighter. And Do you want a lighter? You can have it. You want a lighter? Come and have it. I've got a chicken and I've got some chlorine tabs. What do you think? Would you like a chicken? No. What, is your buddy coming to kill me as well, you, you, is he? Bro, you shot, you shot my friend. Yeah, he was aiming at me while I was on the well. What do you think I'm going to do with him? He was going to kill me, and you know he was. He's just looking at you. You know, he was aiming at me. I'm, I've got eyes. you got to wait till he turns up before you do anything. Is that it? All right. And you shoot your... So I did hit him then. I didn't just shoot him. I, I didn't shoot at him. I did shoot him by the sound of it. That's, I'm quite pleased about that. Look at those two. They're, they're up there happy as they're, aren't they? They're the gladiators. They need pugil sticks and then they'll be at it, won't they? Pugil sticks. I can't remember how to say it. I need me a shotgun and we can go and uh, clear house. Give shotgun, please. I think we'll go to the police station. Good morning all. How's Livonia today? Well, uh, it's been better. <laughs> God, my f***ing head. I right, got so to say, probably not many streamers I sub to. You're one of the best one I watch. Dead, dude. Uh, sorry, not... Yeah, dead. Dead dead bear. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Two month inning. Uh, Ass Daddy. Thank you very much for making me say Ass Daddy and the resub too. Go on PC. Uh, Michael Seb. Rail McCoy. Wild Donkey. Gillian Sniper. Thank you all of you guys for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Two years. Thanks for all the amazing content. I am going to need some bandages fairly soon. I don't even have a knife. I'm not going to drink too much here, but I'm just going to drink maybe five or six circles, just enough to keep me going for now. So I think they came towards me. I think that was the same too, after all.
Gotta keep looking, we might find ourselves another repeater. Any bullets in there? No. T-R-M-Z-L-U-R-K oh, Fuck! Oh, fuck off! Christ, you give me another bleed, I'll be fucked. I'm, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm red health. I'm in deep shit now. I've gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna probably be dead. I, I need a knife so I can make a bandage that will probably make me sick. It might heal. I, this one bleed might sort itself out before I die because they do heal, but it's going to be tight. I need Three I need something to cut. Nonsense. Think I need really? my head examined. Rolling on the floor, laughing. I can maybe go that way. Oh, an MP133 shotgun. Any shells? On. Back to yellow health, anyway. Is it bad that I'm prioritising this zombie and the, and the vest over getting a bandage? <laughs> that might not be smart. Maybe he'll have a bandage on him, you never know. I just need something that I can tear rags with. Any kind of melee... Oh, there we go. Oh, I could potentially get sick, but I ain't gonna die. Yet. Hi, Dark, you're right, dude. If we can get lucky and not get sick now as well, that would be amazing. have our daily patat. I think he was trying to take me to his buddy to get me killed in the first place. Like the whole, uh, I can show you where a backpack is. I think he was trying to, uh, trying to lead me in the trap into a, in the very first moment. I could be wrong, but that's what I think he was trying to do. These things you can never be sure of, right? But that's my guess. So I'm going to go back over this way towards where the well is and just hope we can bump into them. I know I'm yellow health, but yellow health and a shotgun, we live in the dream. We can do it. Blue here. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, Hutchie, Brownieville, Rex, Reaper, thank you very much for the support, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Right, I could do with a little bit of food. Nobody goes up those apartments for anything other than shooting. Right, that means more knives, so we should probably take that. Any one of them. Oh fuck me. I'm not sure he's even one of them, the poor bastard. I've just wasted three shells on him.
We have a bandage. The food ruined. He hasn't got a bandage either. Well, uh, the, the Chuckle Brothers will probably be along in a minute looking for what happened with the shots. What takeaway did we have? We had a curry and I, I didn't like it. I've gone so off it. I had a tandoori mixed grill that was amazing. So uh, to be fair, I did have uh, I did have that. That was good. Uh, so I had a ta tandoori mixed grill. It's just like like a bit like Indian barbecue, really. Uh, it was really, really good. So that was great, but the actual curry itself, I, I've just gone off, it. I've gone off it so much. I had a chicken jail frazzi and special rice, and it was it was really strong. It was it was way hot, way hotter than a jail frazzi would normally be. Jail jail frazzi is kind of medium to hot, but it tasted like hot, hot. We went to a curry house we've only been to once before. Clearly, they like them hot. <laughs> it was fucking roasting, but not in a heat way, but in a burning your ass the next morning way. Uh, Hutchie, thank you again. Three years of this nonsense, dude. I normally go for something hotter. I'm glad I didn't. We've only used this what this curry house once before, and I had uh, chili masala, which is meant to be hot, and it was fucking flaming. So I went for something a bit cooler, and it was still hot as hot as you like. But they didn't, to be fair to them, they didn't really seem to try and follow me very much, did they? <laughs> Hot and spicy bready chicken last night, paid for it since 1am, oh dear. Johnny Cash wrote a song about that. Yeah, we had the Ring of Fire. We had it as a donation alert for uh, a short while. Like, every What's time somebody donated, dinosaur? it went... Duh, 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 duh. It was so fucking catchy for about a day. And then it was so fucking annoying for about a day. And then it got changed. What's my favourite dinosaur? Uh, Iguanodon. I don't really know what my favourite dinosaur is. I do quite like Iguanodons. When I was at primary school, I had to do a... Uh, I do a great big fucking picture of a iguanodon, stand up in front of the school and talk about it. Well, the class, sorry, not the school. I can't remember much about it. I quite like stegosauruses, they're pretty cool, right? It seems I'm a bit more of a herbivore liker. It's too easy to just like Tyrannosaurus Rex, isn't it? That's the lazy man's choice, Ty Tyrannosaurus. Iguanodon's got the the thumbs with the uh, with the like the they're dead thumb you to death. They've got like pointy thumbs. These are the conversations we should be having as adults. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Cabison and Gator Bear, very much for the resubs. Appreciate it, peeps. Thank you. I think he went up there to fucking kill me. Have I got a leather? I have, haven't I? I've got a leather kit just now. We should definitely use that. Uh, first time watching Fanny you today, so what's your thoughts on KOS versus having a nice chat? I think you need both in the game. If everybody talked, the game would be really dull. And if, effectively, I just KOS to do just now. But two people who were kind of around, and I thought it was one of the two. I think now, I, I suspect it wasn't, so I just killed some poor random bastard that didn't deserve it. But nonetheless, uh, I, I like to play differently. I, I never know how I'm going to play. It depends who I meet and how I feel, but sometimes I KOS. And sometimes I'm friendly, you know, I, I, I just sort of go with the flow. 
Uh, but yeah, the game needs both. Like, if, if you were really sure that every time you met a player they weren't going to shoot you, the game would lose all of its edge, wouldn't it? It would lose all of its, like, what makes it so special. Because really cool adventures are amazing, but sometimes people not, not trusting you and trying to kill you, that's also kind of fun too, you know. Sucks when somebody double crosses you, but it doesn't happen very often. Alcohol in that shed, dude, we need that. Yeah, good shout. Yeah, alcohol would be pretty useful for a dude with no bandages, wouldn't it? I just ignore it so often, but yeah, we do need that. Do I have any qualifications or degrees? Uh, yeah, I, I've got 20 years in the School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> <laughs> I did A-levels, but I didn't do very well, dude. I, I, I wanted to be a physiotherapist, which would have, been, would have involved, going, involved going to university. But I chose the wrong A-levels and gave up after about six months. I did finish the A-levels, but I only got... I think I got a D and E and a fail. But the fail was in sociology, and I absolutely couldn't stand it. And I was so bored with school. Rather than, I realised after about six months that I, would, I just couldn't do sociology. But instead of starting again the next year... I just thought, fuck it, I'll just waste 20 years of my life in retail. That's what I did. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I, I I stopped at A-levels. My sister went to uni. I stopped at A-levels. I think I, I, I would have quite liked to go to uni in hindsight, but I'm glad I didn't now, because I wouldn't be here. <laughs> well, sociology is beyond a waste. I want To do physiotherapy, which was what I was wanting to do, I wanted to try and get into sports physiotherapy in some way, ideally for a team if possible one day, you know? Like, like I mean, I've, anyone that watches knows I'm into, like, football, but I'm also into, at the time, I was into sport of any sort, right? So I had it in mind that I would try and do that. Uh, but you only needed to do biology and then any other two subjects, so I did biology, geography, and sociology. Geography actually links in well with biology. Like some of biology is around the environment and ecology, and so is geography. So they they kind of go in, they go fairly well. Uh, but I uh, I chose sociology. It was I was choosing between maths and sociology. I was really good at maths at GCSE. I was really good at maths anyway. Uh, I, and I should have done either maths or physics. They were the one. They were my strongest topics when I was a kid. But I thought maths would be hard, and I thought sociology would be a piece of piss. But sociology was just two years of dictation. That's all it was. There was nothing. There was nothing. We just we got a great big Harold Lambus book. And every lesson, the teacher just used to read from the book. And then we used to write it down. And then two years later, there was a test. And that's all it was. It was really shit. It was really, really shit. Stuff on the shelf, I don't even know where you mean, dude. But it's all good. Well, the A-levels we did, when I did sociology, it was the first year my school had ever done it. So we had two teachers. They employed a sociology teacher, to, and we had her for half of our lessons. And the other half, we, we got a drama teacher. So one of them wasn't even wasn't even trained in it. She was literally could only read from the book, and that's it. So we got, from her half, we had no thought and adding on from the teacher whatsoever. She could only relay what was in the book they gave us on the first day. I'm a physiotherapist, but would be like to be a Daisy streamer, so maybe we could switch. Uh, I'll give that a swerve for now, if that's okay. Uh, horse Daddy, the, the colour going sepia like it is now, it's, it's the blood. So, if your blood is low, then you... Uh, you, you go uh, more black and white. If you get really low, like, red blood, then you go, like, properly black and white. Like, you you can't see any colour at all. Right now, things are a bit pastely and a bit sepia. But the grass is still mostly green and the sky is still mostly blue. You can get to a point where it's all black and white. You go flashing red. Yeah. On top of that, if you go flashing red blood, then you, you'd fall unconscious every now and then as well. So... If that goes to red, you're black and white. If it goes to flashing red, then you start going unconscious. 
due to blood loss. Uh, Big Red Banana, awkward. Thank you for the resubs. Sean, thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. I answered the question, but I never got any further than that. Cabison, thank you very much once again. Uh, hi, Truffles. What what would you think if they added a HK416 to the game? It's a 22 LR pistol with an extended mag. And, yeah, the only HK416 I know of is that assault rifle. I've seen you guys talking about it. I'm sure there is one, but 22 pistol extended mag optional red dot sight would give other use besides the MK2 and the Sporter. It wouldn't be a bad idea if they added another 22 pistol, but the problem is, uh, if it's not built and suppressed like the MK2 is, it's only ever going to be used until you get an MK2, isn't it, I suppose? But it wouldn't be the worst decision in the world to, to add one, I suppose. And another one. Keep on running. Give me one sec, guys. I mean, the 22 round isn't the most used. I guess there's a reason it's like the entry level round in the game, but yeah, it wouldn't be the end of the world. A six shooter 22. Ugh. Yeah, there really are a lot of repeaters. There's a hell of a lot of repeaters. Everywhere there's repeaters. I'm a legend. And another one, dude. Thank you very much for the. Hello. First time this happened to me in the game, I thought my monitor was broken. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Right, let's get rid of you. Uh, right, I think we need to cook the chicken when we get a bit further ahead. But I might wait for the next town. I actually feel fairly fairly okay about that. We only we didn't loot much of the town because of the uh, because of the bad dudes are doing. Maybe they weren't bad dudes, but they may, they certainly felt like they were anyway. We're doing okay. Hated college, so I joined the military instead. Oh, GG, dude. Yeah, I, I just had enough. I, 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 I was good at school. Like, I, in in every lesson, pretty much, I was one of the bright kids. But I suffered with can't be fucked itis. You know, like, it's easy to say that, isn't it? It's easy to say you were you were bright, but you were lazy. But it's a tale as old as time. There's there's kids like it in every year. You know, like especially boys. It seems to be more common, but. I was always like, like naturally fairly smart in, in the class. I compared pretty well. I wasn't the top in any subject, but I was always second or third in pretty much any subject. I'd say, certainly in maths and stuff like that. Was English I wasn't so great at, but pretty much any other subject. Certainly sciences and English and uh, maths, for example. Anyway, uh, I was just lazy. I like for my GCSEs, I didn't, I didn't do anything really. I did the bare minimum of coursework. I did no revision whatsoever. I handed in like dog shit stuff just because I just was so lazy I, I just couldn't be bothered and as an adult I've always been the same if I'm not interested in it if I'm really not interested in it I can't do it you know if I'm passionate about something I, I maybe I've got something I, I might be vaguely on some kind of spectrum I don't know but uh, everyone wants to be on some kind of spectrum right now I suppose right but anyway uh, if I'm really passionate on something I get hyper focused like to the point where I think about nothing else but if, I, if it's something I'm not bothered about it might as well not exist because I can't. I just can't. Can't be bothered to learn it. Take that helmet and become the Yellow King. Mm. Smoke. I don't think I had any uh, any traits of ADHD as a kid. I, I don't think it is ADHD to be honest. But flag there. I, I was okay at school. It was more once I'd grown up. Like once I'd started even part-time work at A level, sort of seventeen, eighteen. I just had had enough. I'd had enough of being told what to learn and about My stuff that didn't seem like I cared about. I just like watching you play your days. P sex. Yeah, I know that something else that happened, and I, I've just read that that the UK school system lets bright kids down doesn't challenge them enough. That might be true, one shot. I, I went. I went to a school, uh, my primary school was in Hinckley, it was a Roman Catholic school uh, and it was incredibly good, it was a really really good school and when I joined middle school in Suffolk, so I moved from Leicestershire to Suffolk, I felt like I was about 18 months ahead of all the other kids, like they were all, they were all, they all everything, everything we were doing for the first year when I joined the school I'd already done, you know, it was so, 
uh, like I don't know why the, the school I was at was quite strict and they really pushed you and at my old school I was not a bright kid, bright kid or at least I didn't feel like one I felt like I was always in trouble I've but then I think everybody was you know <laughs> like, but, but I felt like I was struggling and I wasn't keeping up with everyone and I then I moved schools and I was like fucking head and shoulders above everybody else it was it was really strange uh, Zenith, holy shit. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. That's very, very kind. Thank you. I'd love that to be Zenith the watch brand. That'd be amazing. <laughs> well, that, I guess that was the right sh right source, si right choice, Simon, if you're still with her now, right? Uh, Zenith, thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Just so you don't, but most people won't know, but Zenith are a watch brand as well as uh, someone very generously donating to my uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm sure completely unrelated. <laughs> you can eat, uh, we, we, I've been eating them a little bit here and there, Agra. You, oh, there's some broken cars there, maybe we should... Ah, bollocks to that. I'm just going to go over this way. Yeah, you can eat... Uh, if you eat one piece of rotten fruit, you get away with it. If you if you eat more than one back to back, you do not. School doesn't teach you about life. I don't know why they don't teach you about, ta teach you about tax and mortgages. I think that that's the problem sometimes with, this, with schools, is they're teaching to a syllabus. But they are also preparing you for life in some ways. Learning an, a syllabus and being tested on it, does, it shows you can apply yourself to some extent. And then when you start work, you can learn what you're required to do, I suppose. But I, I agree to that with that. Some, my kids do some stuff. They do... Uh, I can't even remember what they call it now. It used to be home ec, but it's not. And they do learn different skills. They do cooking and they do other things. They, they, they do have, like, some lessons. It's limited, but they have some stuff, you know. Bat tat Beard of Anarchy. Thank you for the Prime. I really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very much. I had this... Oh, God, what is this? This is a 9 mil thing. I had a, a problem with not giving a shit. Like, uh, maybe I'm just naturally lazy. I don't feel I am. Like, if it's something... Like, if there's something that I need to do, I have to do it, you know? Like... I, like if, but I, I guess I have to be passionate about it, I suppose. But I, when I, uh, I worked in a, like a Sony and Panasonic, like electrical retailer, like an independent one. They, there aren't really any of those around anymore, I don't think. But it was just one that this, this guy owned, and and there was the guy and the manager as such, who was the other one that had worked there forever, and then me, and they sent me on an electrical electronics course for two years, like. Uh, they didn't want me to be able to repair TVs and hi-fis and stuff, but they wanted me to have an understanding of stuff. And they sent me on a course. But I did the wrong course, and, and they sent me on one, and, it, and like six months of it was about the national grid and power stations and stuff. Like, what the fuck did I need to know any of that for, to work in a shop selling TVs? Yeah, I should have done repair. I should have done stuff more integrated circuits rather than what I did. I, I, I didn't do installation. I, I just did like an overview of everything. And it was such a waste of time. After about after about six months, I was like, "What? I'd rather just go back and work in the shop. What the fuck am I doing?" And I I got to the, I did the two years, and it got to about a month before the exam was due. And I just I said to the the place I worked, I was like, Look, I, I can stay and do the exam, but I've Nothing done the course now. It's given me the I basic work. understanding I need, but this none of this is relevant to what I'm doing. <laughs> none of it's relevant. And so I did basically most of the two year course. And then left. I never did the exam. <laughs> I just I went back to work a month earlier because it was so fucking. I maybe I should have done it earlier than that, really, but it was utterly pointless. If you teach kids taxes, they won't pay attention. I think that's true. I think that's the. I I think it's a good idea to try and guide kids as parents or on stuff like that. I'm I'm forever talking about. Well, it's not forever because it would be really dull. But every now and then. I, I sort of drum it into the kids' heads that debt is like a prison. I don't say it like that, but I'm kind of giving that impression that debt will, will fuck you up and that trying to only buy things you can afford is the only way to be happy. I, I didn't really learn that as a kid. I learned the opposite. Not blaming my parents. My parents didn't have a pot to piss in, right? They had no choice. Uh, 
but nonetheless, uh, yeah, I, I try and get that across, but it's quite hard, like, like you say, if you're trying to teach that in school, or even me trying to say it now, kids need to make their own mistakes, you know, like, if one of my kids buys a car on finance, and then two years down the line they're still paying the bills, and they've got three years left to pay, and they don't really like the car anymore, they, you soon learn, you know. Some things you kind of have to learn yourself, don't you? Smarty little fucker, what are you doing there? Uh, Almighty, thank you very much. I, if I had to teach myself maths and reading because I was a slow kid who couldn't understand it because no one was willing to take the time to help me. Then once I learned, it's like a light bulb came on and I was put in advanced courses. Very cool, dude. That is cool. It is tough, actually. It's tough. It, it For the kids in the middle, it's kind of fine. Uh, like, at school. For the kids in the middle, let's say there's 30 kids in a classroom. For the 20 kids in the middle, it's kind of okay. For, for the five kids at the top and the five kids at the bottom, that class doesn't help those. Because they're trying to teach to the kind of... Uh, Broadly speaking, almost the lowest common denominator, and the the kids that are behind a bit never catch up, and the kids that are like bored don't get tested. You know, it is a bit tricky. I, my this is going to sound like a flex, but it's not. My 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 eldest daughter is she's not doing great in all subjects, but in maths she's absolutely fucking well ahead. She's flying, but she gets bored to fucking tears because she's learning stuff she can do, and she's just sitting there doing nothing. Like there's just like, like there's no nothing there, so she doesn't really like maths. But that's probably why, isn't it? Uh, still, uh, still whacking off. Still whacking off. <laughs> uh, loving today's commentary while I work. Well, I hope you have a good day, dude. How was parents' evening? Well, I, I couldn't go. I was still streaming, and then uh, then it was uh, Valentine's evening. So I, like it was on it was on a video call. Uh, I haven't heard how it went because I haven't asked yet. So I, I but I'm picking the kids up tomorrow, so I can find out then. I don't get updates on the kids unless I ask for them. Pretty much, dude. Unless something involves money. First person to pronounce my name correctly. No, I am not the watch company lol. Favorite day streamer. You all have a great day. Zenith, thank you very much for the support, dude. Yeah, how could I not? I'm quite a big fan of that particular brand, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support. I guess a lot of uh, people say Zenith, I suppose, don't they? Uh, cheers very much for the, for the tip as well. That, sorry for the super chat. That's very generous, dude. Thank you very, very much. Uh, have a good day yourself. Thank you very much for coming in. Fire what Dingo, thank you for the resub. Today? What looting route did we get? Uh, I actually spawned in Colin Brody and suicided. And then I got Sitnik. And I've looted just Sitnik. And I've come down to this little town here. And we're doing okay. There's a military base coming up that's added on this server where the gas station is. Sorry, the power station. But I'm not going to stop there. I'm just going to carry on to the castle. If one of your girls was like, "Can you come in and talk about the car your career in streaming to my class?" Would you would you go? And what what would be the TLDR of your talk? I probably would, but I don't think I would prepare it. To be honest, I've no idea what it would be. I'm not very good at pre at, at doing things if I prepare it. And uh, the last time I had to write something and really do it was my dad's eulogy. You know, like that was about 20 minutes. The <laughs> like I wrote, I obviously with uh, my missus and my mum uh, helped. Uh, but we, we collectively wrote the eulogy, and then I had to do that word for word, pretty much. But I, I'm very bad at that. I'm much better with three words, and then I just talk. Like, like what three things should I talk about, and then I just make it up. Otherwise, I, I can't really do it. But yeah, I, I, I would do it if, if they wanted me to. I, I'm, I'm not sure that they do shit like that so much. Certainly never been asked, so probably be alright. Dark bit. Uh, thank you again. Cheers for the bits, dude. So there's a castle at the top of this hill. Yeah. 
Hitman, thank you for the 11 months as well. I think people worry, uh, people worry a hell of a lot about, uh, maybe rightly so, but it might be slightly different in America, but in the UK, most of the people that talk about worrying about their credit score are the people that are really struggling, you know, like, that, that's the truth, like, I've, I've certainly had problems in the past where I would get turned down for things, like, before I was doing what I do now, you know, like, I, I, I was in all sorts of, I had two big credit cards, I had, like, 10 or 11 grand on two separate credit cards. I had a seven or eight thousand pound overdraft to the limit, all of it. Like I was, I was massively in debt, but there was no wriggle room anymore. You know, I was, I, I was already over what I should have been. I like somehow. Uh, but yeah, most of the time people worry about credit scores. It, in the UK, not in the world, more often than not, they're the ones struggling and buying things using buyback loans or whatever, you know, like short-term shit. What is that there? And a camp in them, that looks like a military thing though. A year of running. Getting a bit tired now, can we walk for a bit? I think that bit's different on well but I'm gonna quickly go to that bit in the middle of the field. I just wanna see what it is. That's where we're going next. There's a summer camp over there. That's where I wanna go. Let's have the daily totato. Look through the scope. Uh it's not gonna show me too much, it's damaged. It looks a bit like a helicopter crash site in the middle, but it's not smoking, so it's static. So it's, it might be some other kind of dynamic spawn, but... I don't really know what that... that I bet there's not much loot there, but we'll go and have a look. Yeah, a, a credit card is a smart thing. Everyone should probably have a credit card, Alf. Like, this is easy to say, and not, not easy to do, but... Having a credit card is a very smart thing to do, but having a having a balance that you leave on it every month is not smart, is it? You know, uh, it's easier so easier to say than than to do. But having a credit card for buying things online or for booking things, you know, if you wanted to go, if you wanted to book tickets for something, like, or or buy a big purchase, if you can do it on a credit card, then you you get a lot more guarantees. It's like. I, if you order something online and it never shows up, that's the credit card company's problem, not yours, you know, but... Uh, nonetheless, it's the having the commitment to pay off without paying any interest that's the tricky bit. Substatica, I, the plan really is nothing beyond the title of the stream. Probably half... Half, half Livonia and half, uh, half Alteria, that's the plan. To be honest, dude, though, I, I've started with a really fucking horrible head. I've, I, I don't feel as bad now. I'm, bit, I'm nearly an hour in. I feel a bit better, but I started feeling a bit headachey and a bit sort of nauseous with it. So uh, we'll see how the plans go. The plan might be I'm stopping in two hours, but hopefully not. <laughs> Do I ever play Kim C? Not at the moment still. I've played it a bit over the years when, when there's been a server that's kind of lightly modded to play. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's all right. It's not a bad map. In my experience, the people that say they don't like to think about money are the ones that end up thinking about it 24-7. Growing up in church, they said the love of money was the root of all evil, but ended up obsessing about it all the time because they had no financial plan. Yeah. It's interesting that it's the root of all evil, but they'll, they'll always need another contribution to get the roof fixed, won't they? What other bullets did I?
Yeah, I don't think this spawns a great deal. A couple of military containers. The rest seems completely... Uh, all right. Maybe the tank spawned something. Doesn't seem to. Oh, fuck that. I'm going to bypass that, that as well. Just the base with the, f the flag on the on the top of the building makes me think, fuck those few houses, let's move on. Uh, one hour before you leave for Thailand, baggies, dude, have a nice time. In fact, I am going to loot it, the door opposite's closed. That gives me some hope. We had a decent firefight at uh, Giralto on this server, from what I remember. Last time I played, we got a few kills around Giralto. I, in fact, I got two kills behind me, didn't I? We were at this summer camp, heard shots, and then I ran back. And we heard, and we got into a firefight. One versus two. The one where I unpinned my grenade, but then it didn't go off, because I must have stood up and crouched and cancelled the unpin. Uh, it's not really got a more popular Regan, it's just uh, there's a couple of options for me at this time of day that allow me to play it, so here we are. Thank you for the bits once again. Goddess, uh, here of running in. Thank you very much. Cheers for the reset. If you don't mind, if you had to restart your streaming career, what would you do? Do the same? What would you change? I don't know, dude. But that's... When I started, it wasn't a career. And I, I think... I don't think I'd change a great deal, if I'm honest. There's one thing I can think of that I'd change. I'll come to that in a minute, but... I think the reality is that when you start doing something like YouTube as a hobby, as something that you... Like, if you're really into fishing and you start making hobbyist fishing video, it's meant to be something you do for fun. So, like, I started it that way with Daisy, and then it grew into something more than that, and I'm very grateful. But I wouldn't do a great deal differently because it was meant to be fun, and I started it as a way to sidetrack me and stop me gambling because I was an addicted gambler. So it was a positive in that it was stop... It was... Even if I never grew on YouTube, it stopped me gambling, which was a really big deal for me at the time, right? So, it was a huge positive. Uh, I don't think I'd change too much. The only thing I can think of off the top of my head that I'd change right away, if I could go back, is the titles of my videos as I was releasing them for about five years. Like, I was making what I think are reasonable videos, maybe six, seven, eight, eight years even. But I was trying to be too clever with the titles. Calling th calling videos the Trumpet Brothers was a massive own goal, you know. If I'd have called the Trumpet Brothers something better, it would have got way more views. My channel would be bigger right now, maybe to the tune of maybe 150, 200,000 subscribers, if I'd been a bit more aggressive with my titles, rather than, like, I don't want to be a... Uh, I don't want to be a clickbaiter, so I'll intentionally hurt my fucking views for so long, you know, I shouldn't have done that. Maybe in the very beginning, when I was starting, that was a good idea, but it wasn't a good idea four or five years after I'd started. Have that. Afternoon, Paul and chat. Yeah, when you start, it's not a career. Like, even when I went full-time, it didn't feel like a career. I guess it feels like one now, in that I've been doing it, it'll be eight years in May. It's now the longest job I've ever done as such, but it didn't feel like a career when I went full-time. It felt like a, I can't stick my job anymore, I really hope I can do this, I'll give it a try, kind of thing, you know? <laughs> I'm glad I did. Where can we put this? Let's just put it somewhere really random. Go for here. When I say clickbait, I mean like proper clickbait, as in like not lying about what's in your video, but just making your video. Like my videos now are a little bit more aimed at getting some views, you know, that's okay. They're not, they're not lying. What's in the title is in the video. But yeah, I, I, I should have done better. Like, calling the video the perfect day in DayZ, it's not bad. 
But I could have got way more views if I'd called it something else. I believe. Especially something like the Trumpet Brothers. Nobody wants to watch a video called the Trumpet Brothers. If I'd called it something like... Uh, my... My my craziest team up in 7,000 hours in DayZ or something. It's a title that makes me want to be sick in my own mouth. But it would have got three or four times as much views probably. Also, there's a gawky bars of one way. Can I rename it now and relist it? Not really. I, I, I think it's duping my existing audience if I... Re I could rename it, but I think probably that ship has sailed. Mia, thank you very much for the 27 months. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. I do need to cook this chicken, but I'm not sure that this is the spot. In the next patch, the sledgehammer has got lighter, which would be good. Where is Dissy? Hey, which map is better to play, Alteria or Livonia? Uh, if you want action, Alteria. If you want like more of a longer sort of story, or maybe a map, a server that's better for base building or something, Livonia. Livonia is much more on the Chernerous side of Daisy, you know, a bit more like slow-paced, adventure-y. Alteria is much more like Essica, and in some ways a bit like the mouse, slightly different, but much smaller, higher player count, much more PvP orientated. need to cook this chicken. I think we might do that in a sec. Maybe in a stilted house. There's gas up ahead, which is kind of annoying because I think the gas is going to cover the police station and the hospital, which is kind of where I wanted to go. for cooking it. Yeah, we're cooking that stilted house up ahead. I reckon if we're lucky, I don't know when the gas landed, I don't remember hearing it. If we're very lucky, we might cook at this next house, and then by the time we're done, the, uh, the gas will be gone. I got the sewing kit. Facility, dude, thank you for the subscribing and ing and ing. Hope you're good, dude. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Phil Dubois, thank you for the follow on YouTube as well. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Oh, okay, well. I don't actually need to cook the chicken as badly as I did. We've, we're eating honey. We've got, we've got the uh, the cereal as well. I, I, th I think we might as well. It will kill a bit of time. I I slaughtered the chickens. The least I can do is give them a good home in my belly. I suppose, right? I'm a cereal chicken killer. There's worse things to do to chickens. I guess. What? what un changing the subject from killing chickens or worse. 
Uh, we watched that uh, Million Miles From Home or a Million Miles Away or whatever it's called with Michael Pena yesterday. That's actually pretty decent. A little bit slow to start. A bit of a tearjerker in the in the middle to end. It's, it's good. I quite liked it. It's on Thamazon in the UK, so if you if you've got Thamazon, it's worth a watch. Tonight, Paul. Thanks for all the content, dude. T R M Z L O V S L. What do I look like? Uh, I look like a cross between Brad Pitt and George Clooney on their best day. Uh, greedy, thank you for the 13 months, Duke. Oh, there's another chicken outside. Would you like to come and meet meet Mr. Fire? But before there's cosmetic surgery, yeah. Yeah, no. If if you want something to watch, though, a million miles away, I think it was called. I, I, I the name's not the best name in the world, I think, but it's a decent film. It's the story of a, a dude. What uh, settles in America land after coming from Mexico and then spends in, his entire life trying to become an astronaut from unlikely backgrounds. It might sound all like, oh my god, it's so... I'm not going to use the W word, but it's not. It's a, it's a decent film. That might be at the, that might possibly be at the shooting range. On my on my best day, I look like Mrs. Trunchbull. <laughs> he should have named it "How a Thirty Thousand Hour Student Joins NASA." It is it is funny though. Some films' titles can kind of put you off. I genuinely genuinely believe that the reason the Shawshank Redemption was an absolute roaring success at the cinema is because it's called The Shawshank Redemption and it actually sounds like a terrible film. The Shawshank Redemption sounds fucking awful. I hide and I've lost the message now. Where is it? Yeah, you'll have to remind me what light-hearted comedy series it is. I, I've, it's cut off and I can't find the fucking message. Got two more breasts. Whoa. Well spotted. Now it's called escape plan. <laughs> the Shankshaw Redemption. Let me. Uh, Alf Solomon's. I, I'm not denying it, but I guess the Coen Brothers, like, like, once they've had one or two critical successes things start to roll and people watch because of them, you know, that, then it becomes easier. You don't need it quite the same, I suppose, but uh, in the, their earlier work, maybe, might have got a bit more attention, but I don't know. Like, names, it, it's only a subjective view, but I don't think the name Fargo, for example, is a turn-off. It doesn't tell you anything, but it doesn't, it sounds okay, you know. For whatever reason, the Shawshank Redemption, it sounds like a made-for-TV movie. It sounds bad. It sounds cheap. It sounds sort of tacky. There's a difference between using clickbait and using a name that's sort of almost turning people off somehow.
gonna go with these. I think two knives is enough knives. I think that gas is gonna be gone any second. And it looks like it's going back now. So I might just go and cook this chimpkin while we wait. Fucking hell, that got damaged quick, didn't it? Red health again. My health is plummeting. Uh, juice box, thank you for the six months. Greedy gear, giraffe, thank you for the gifted sub. And thank you for the resub. You're doing night feeds tonight, Paul. Uh, thanks for all the content. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. Uh, I think I'll probably get sick just as I go to sleep and then feel better just as I wake up. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers for the support. Thank you. Right. I don't think it makes any difference swapping them over, but let's see. I don't think we'll be seeing Robin anytime soon. It did look. The smoker one. No, the smoker one didn't cook quicker. I lied. I'd, I'd be disappointed if we bumped into Robin, to be honest. Hi, all. Let's eat the very, very hottest ones. Ye thanks for all the streams, Paul T R M Z L U R K T R M Z G Heart. Let's get the fuck out of here. Right, can I please not be red he red temperature now? That would be good. I think the gas is going. Get yeah, the gas is gone. Look. look at that. Just slaughtering that one extra chicken has bought us the time we needed. Boyfriend. Have any contentious thoughts about watchwinders? Keep up the good work. It's not really contentious. I think if any, if you know what you're doing, the answer is simple. Don't fucking get one. <laughs> uh, that's the answer. It's not contentious. I think it's what most people think. Really, do could be wrong. Uh, but you know, unless unless you've got a really really good reason, don't use. Uh, thanks for the sixty three months, dude. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. No gas is definitely good, yeah. Somewhere along the road, we should also be able to find a pox grenade as well, because the gas has just gone. Uh, I wouldn't be disappointed if to bump into Robin, Joe. I wouldn't. Uh, Robin was cool, but if we were playing Alteria, it's a small map and we bumped into each other, that would be good. But if I bump into someone, I, I don't want a single Robin out here. There's nothing wrong with Robin. I don't believe he was stream sniping, but... If I bump into somebody on Alteria, and then the next day I'm playing on a completely different server hosted by completely different server hosters, or two days later or whatever, when I bump into the same player across really strange places over two different days, it starts to feel like it's a little bit too good to be true for obvious reasons. You know, there's 20,000 people playing the game right now, yet I bump into the same dude. Do you know what I mean? That It starts to sound unlikely when that happens. Doesn't happen very often, and this is a fictitious conversation we're having. So I'm not, I'm not calling Robin out for anything. He's fine, you know. Uh, we could maybe pick those up. I wouldn't mind going to the airfield, or or wherever the other gas zone is. I can't remember meant to be radin in, but I'm not convinced it is on this one. I'm guessing the pox grenades will be on the road somewhere near here. Uh, 
that's an extra hunting shot that's not normally there. Base. like to find the pox grenade if I can. I bet it's on the road. It must be on the road, right? That zombie is dead from the gas, I believe. It, they, they could be anywhere. I don't know where the dead centre of the strike is. see boots at the bus stop, okay. They're not NBC boots. They're just boots. I don't know. This was kind of more around the edge. I wonder if the, it's more, it might be more up near the police station, perhaps. I'm just running around aimlessly checking the floor right now, which might get me killed, but... Well deserved. Hi, thank you for the resub. Cheers for the support, dude. Very, very kind. Thank you. That base raided. No. I don't think so. The flag is still all the way up. I doubt it. That's Holly Rex's flag. Yeah, it looks secure. Zoot flotation. Zoot flotation. Thank you very much for the support. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So, uh, just to come back to it, Yeti, it's a bit dull for everyone else, maybe, but... A watch wine. They're even good ones. They they wind different ways and they're designed to only come on for, let's say, six hours every day. So they don't quite work so bad. But watch winders keep the watch like it's fully charged, pretty much, every day, always. And it's much better for a mechanical watch. You only put a mechanical automatic watch on a winder, otherwise there's no point, right? It's much better, like, if you were to take it off on Friday and then put it back on Monday, it's How much better to let now? it go flat or nearly flat. It's better for it to occasionally stop working than it is for it to be fully wound the whole time. A, wa a mechanical watch, it uses kinetic movement to keep it fully charged, but then it's keeping the, the mainspring like fully fully wound the whole time, you know? that That's not good. It shouldn't be fully wound the whole time. It should, like, get... like, be let off. It's a bit like keeping your engine revving on full. You wouldn't do that, you know? Is it bad for them to often stop working? Not really, Regan. No, it's it's not really a problem. You don't want them to be like stopped for like months and months and months. But if they're getting worn here and there, then that's fine. Plenty. I, I'm not familiar with Tim Hayden. I'm afraid to say, dude, that blaze is very. By the way, I, I've only got a couple of bullets, but that's a very nice little find. Give me a proper long-range weapon, or at least it will do. Need me a scope. Dash brain, thank you for the 34 months. There's a really good video on the Watchbox YouTube channel by the, they used to have a watch. Their main watchmaker was called Mike something. I, I think his name was. And there's a video on the Watchbox YouTube channel talking about uh, watch winders, and he goes into it more from a like a a watch maker or a watch repairer. Uh, pers their perspective on why it's not a good idea, you know. And I think unless you really need one, then you shouldn't use. It. Missed an EpiPen in the hunting shop. I hope you're right, or else there's some shame, shame, shame coming your way. <laughs> There was some antibiotics I saw. Uh, 
You are right. I spotted. No shame for you. Military's head, we might as well kill that one. So even though I've got the shotgun, I kind of feel like we're better off using the uh, using the blaze for now. Like at really close range, the shotgun is definitely better. But in fact, we should use the shotgun in here. I don't know when the server last restarted, but no one's been in here since it did, so I think I'm going to shut the doors. Just so it looks like nobody's been here when I've moved on and the zombies have respawned. taking those. Maybe we'll find a scorpion with a suppressor or something. I think the uh, if there's any pox grenades knocking around, I think they've got to be on the road just down there. Otherwise we've missed them somewhere. They're in the grass or they've despawned. Do you, or would you play in the future, other survival games when they... Yeah, Kevin, I do tend to try them as they come out. I didn't play Dead Matter yet, but most, most survival games that have come out that are more closely related to DayZ, so games like Dead Side and Scum and Survive the Nights and others, I've played them all as they came out, dude, but I don't normally stick to them very long. Uh, Scum and Dead Side both have something to some extent, to be fair. that They both have got something that makes them worth playing, for sure, but most of the others... Seven years Generation ago, Zero, I think I tried as well, you know, like, I normally Always only end up playing the them a day. Less than three. I missed ammo second floor, oh well, I'm not going back. Thanks for all the time. BFG, thank you for coming in. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank I'm you. getting pretty hyped about this new game that is going to be a day's killer. It's called The Day Before Kappa LUL. The day Before, yeah. I never tried The Day Before, funnily enough. What a fucking scam that was. Like the that, It's so frustrating. The amount of times The Day Before came up for like two years before it released in two this chat. Twitch babies. And when it was first announced, like... like Impressionable uh, younglings mostly were coming in going, Oh, Daisy's going to be dead when the day. Legitimately meaning it. What are you going to do when the day before kills Daisy? <laughs> I don't know. I fucking shit in my pants though. God. <laughs> it didn't even make it to the weekend after it came out. Uh, thank you very much for the double twitch babies, G. Thank you. Adam, I, I don't agree, dude. How can you tell? Adam, I can tell you this, right? I've got two chats and alerts, and I'm constantly having a conversation with you guys. It, it's a bit like if you were trying to drive whilst doing a puzzle on your phone and then talking on the phone to somebody else at the same time. You're going to crash the car, right? So if you think it's meta, I disagree. I, I'll decide what's meta in my stream. If it's on the screen and I miss it, then it's not meta. It's something that I should oh, have seen and I missed, lied. right? F me dead. It's pretty obvious that if I've got two chats and I'm reading shit, how do you know I missed it? Because I'm... I, I, you don't. I don't either. But I don't know where it is, so I have no clue. We'll see. This is the second floor. Apparently I missed bullets. But I'm only coming back to get it now because you're mithering. <laughs> but to me, meta oh, is telling me something that's never appeared already, on my screen. That's my it. view on meta. That's What's what we your use. Thoughts on the Deadpool trailer and it becoming the most watched YouTube video Still missed it. in 24 hours. Still missed it already. I can't see any bullets. Uh, 
There we go. I'll leave those ones. But yeah, that that's why, Adam. Like, I, I, I can tell you for a fact that playing DayZ whilst streaming is much harder than playing DayZ. Does it mean I miss everything because I'm streaming? No, but it's not meta, because trust me, I'd be doing a much better job of it if I wasn't doing what I'm doing now, right? Uh, I don't believe it's a benefit to get told about bullets that were on a shelf that I missed because I didn't see it, personally. Uh, and as far as it's much harder for me to play the game right now, in general. And until you've done it, you've no idea. I have. I remember watching, uh, before I was ever a streamer, I remember watching Shrooms years ago talking about streaming and playing Daisy. And he was a big streamer, and at that time, he was getting six, seven, eight hundred views on Daisy, which was massive, you know. That was getting seven or eight hundred views on Daisy in 2014 15 is. That's big. You know, like, not many people were. That was, like, huge. Uh, and he was talking about how he. he it's, it's so much different between the two. And I, I was listening kind of what I don't really understand. And then, as soon as you're doing it, you understand, you know. Everything I do is pretty much an autopilot. Even if it's just because I'm having a conversation right now. I'm not reading the chat, but it does make me miss so much. It's just obvious that it would, you know. Like, of course it does. That's why they ban talking on phones in, in cars and shit, you know. Because you, you're not focused on what you're doing. Do you think Fernando Alonso would drive better with a bunch of people riding in the back seat telling him to hit the apex? And, and that, that he missed, he missed an overtake? <laughs> yeah, he definitely would, yeah. I think Alonso would love that. Opinions are okay, Adam, I agree, but trying to tell everyone else to not do something because of your opinion is beyond an opinion, you know. So I, I think I read that's meta, you shouldn't do it, you know. If you, you can phrase an opinion as it's an opinion, or you can phrase it in as a way as you're trying to change what everyone else is doing, that's no longer an opinion. It's you trying to enforce yours on others, right? There is a slight difference, right? Anyway, it's all good. Uh, my my view for for, for me on this Love is you, that Bob. if it's on the, the screen awesome and I miss it, I'm I'm happy enough that people go, "Oh, you miss such and such." It, in reality, the amount of times that I get told you miss such and such, and then the such and such isn't actually the, the thing, or I didn't miss it, I just didn't want it. You know, that's more often the case. But uh, by the by, you know, if it's on my screen, it's not meta to me. It's pretty obvious why I'm going to miss stuff. It is interesting though, even if you record, if you if you if you record your own gameplay and you play not on stream, every now and then, far less of, less often, but every now and then you'll die and be like, how the fuck did that happen? And then you go back and watch the last minute of your footage and you realise there was someone on your screen for half a second and you just didn't see them, you know. Like it happens all the time anyway, but way more commonly if you're not looking at your screen a shitload. I've literally ran over players. I've been running in the forest and ran someone over, like ran over their body while they were prone. And I've been re reading chat, chatting along, ran over a player and then carried on. And then the chat are like, you've just run over someone. I'm like, what? <laughs> it happens. Happy belated uh, Valentine's Day. Roses are red, violets are blue. My v uh, Valentine's Day was made better because Poor of you. you oh, thank fucker. you. You missed a pitchfork in a shed two towns ago. Get your head in the game. Get my head in the game. Sorry, dude. I don't like this. I can't do my normal... Oh, I can. I can't do my normal thingy. I can, so I can. I shut up. I missed a pistol, did I? Oh, I did that. I think what we really need to do is try and get 308. Well, and a scope. Normally from here I go to the uh, 
I go to the shooting range first. I'm not sure if I want to or not. I'm thinking we might go that way and head towards the town. There's uh, there's a town down that road and it, it might be a decent place to go. There's a hunting shop there. We might get a scope. There's a potential convoy down there as well. The only thing is I thought I heard a crash, maybe a plane crash. That was probably at the uh, shooting range. Sometimes you can get so caught up with chat and your team up with Doc Dreyf that you accidentally run an innocent fellow over on Cherno. I don't think that happens, Regan. I've never ran anyone over, ever. Uh, Regan, thank you. Dark Vet, thank you again, dude. Uh, you missed a pitchfork. <laughs> uh, Red from Connecticut, thank you very much. Good Doctor, thank you as well. Oh, dark vet! I've just just caught them before you uh, before you type that, so I'm I'm feeling good about myself. As a rule, dark vet, if it's two minutes, I haven't missed it. Well, uh, I, I did miss it. I was looting the police station. I remember being asked about. It. Well, so you're right. I did miss that. Thank you again, though, dude. A MTB Dan, thank you very much. Uh, just for the support, Jeebus, thank. You. What's your thoughts on the Deadpool trailer? And it became the most. I didn't know it become the most watched. You in 24 hours. I saw it. I don't know if I saw it on YouTube. It was, wasn't was the best quality one I saw. It looked alright. I quite like Deadpool. I like Ryan Reynolds. I think it looks kind of decent. Uh, I, I like the little bit at the end, the kind of teaser of uh, Wolverine. This is That's not a spoiler. It's in the fucking trailer. So, but and everyone knows Hugh Jackman's in the next uh, Deadpool, right? But the, the little bit of humour around that, how it ends in the trailer, that's kind of cool. But beyond that, I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm not that asked about it. I, I definitely want to watch it, and when it comes to the sim, out of the cinema, I'll go and watch it. But until then, I'm not that. I don't get very excited until it's available, you know. It's a bit like if, if you know that you're, you're on a promise a week away, what's the point in being excited until it's like the, the, the time, you know? <laughs> Oh, damn me. In ears. My ears are my knocking are not great. B -E -P -B -E -P -B -E -P. The movie is titled Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> I am. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Please eat more food, the apple not being full hurts. Well, really matter. I mean, garage, you've, uh, you've got issues. Definitely don't watch Severance. You will not be happy with the, uh, the ending. You'll be wanting a lot more before it's finished. <laughs> Is that helping? <laughs> Is that helping? <laughs> uh, just for the super chat garage. <laughs> oh dear. Hi blind guy, you're right dude. <laughs> well, I'm, e I'm still eating some of the fucking food now though. Dear me. There's a can of sardines in the grass. I definitely missed that. That is damn straight. I think 13... I think we can... Them. Fuck it. I'll immediately find a crossbow now. So I normally don't do this. I normally don't come down this way. I, I prefer not to, but... There's a summer camp along this way as well. If we go towards Coolno, there's a summer camp. I don't normally find a great deal, but it's a long way from uh, spawn. But hopefully we might we might get lucky. I 
I guess, really, like, Deadpool and Wolverine are quite, like, they're quite closely related in terms of their powers, like, kinda. Except for Wolverine has got massively better powers. Like, Deadpool is like Wolverine, but without the exoskeleton and the, and the fangs, or not the fangs, like the, the, the blades, right? It's not an exoskeleton, it's an inny in skeleton, endo, but you know what I mean. Like, Deadpool's main ability is that he can just take all the shit and keep coming back for more. Well, Wolverine can do all of that. But he's also got, like, adamantium. And the, the, the spoky dealies. Spoky dokies, I think they're called. Subbed on Twitch, but watching on YouTube Premium, hashtag rebel. He can break the fourth wall as an actual power. Is that a power, is it? I thought that was just kind of funny. Adamantin him, yeah. We could definitely have another drink of water while we're in. I'd like a scope in that building. So down there is where the... Uh, just exactly there, where the circle is. That's where the uh, convoy would be, it isn't there. What did Peter <laughs> Parker say to Elon Musk? With great power comes great electricity. Bill. Why is it a, sp a superpower that Deadpool knows he's in a movie? It's just like a mechanic to make it funny, right? It's not a superpower. His superpower he know is that he knows he's a fictional. Yay! Why does he bother then? He might as well just give up. That's uh, Adam Crook's one, I think. But the skeleton ain't really his. Worms, well, to be fair, dude, he had the things that came out of his hands, but they were bone, right? So he still had those. Like, Deadpool didn't have them. And then he gets adamantium versions of them, did he? Like, Dead, like Wolverine had, had the claws. And then he got better claws. You know, Deadpool doesn't have any claws, does he? I think that's pretty obvious, right? He had bone claws. Did I loot this properly? I feel like I didn't. There are quite a lot of bases on this map. Yeah, that's probably why there's so many flags spawning. If I knew why I was fictional. I don't think it's possible to know you're fictional. I think that's the point, isn't it? it it's meant, it's just a joke, right? It's impossible to know you're fictional. If you know you're fictional, you, what's, there, there is no point. That's the point. You can't be sentient and fictional. It's not possible. Deadpool has better regen powers. So basically, Deadpool's exactly the same as Wolverine, but he's not as badass. That's it confirmed. Good to know. <laughs> you can chop his head off and it'll grow back or something, though, but there is a slight difference. If you chopped Wolverine's cock off, it wouldn't grow back. Is that what you're saying? So basically Deadpool's, uh, I don't know, Deadpool's a bit more like a starfish. I don't think he has a bone in his, that's not really what they mean when you say if you've got a bone or not really. I don't think he probably does have a bone in there. I'd like to see the, the one where he starts slashing people with... <laughs> 
There's bases, bases everywhere and not a long range scope to shoot. Uh, I really want to go to... Do I go to cool no. I kind of want to find the... Let's go to the summer camp. We'll try and find shots for the blaze. I was thinking about trying to go to the... I am going to go to it if I can find it. I want to go to the shooting range because I feel pretty certain the shooting range is where that thing crashed. I'm going to go this way and pray I'm going the right way, basically. Kind of that way. If you mean the town I was just at, LDN, I checked where the convoy spawned when I arrived. I can't remember the name of it. I think Widock sounds right. I think that's what it's called, screen. isn't it? Hi, George and Henry. Uh, hi, Mr. Gideon. Hello, George and Henry. How are you doing? School holidays at the moment. I hope you're good. Thanks for coming in. Is this the road that we arrived on? Might be. No, I'm going to follow this road, see where it ends up. Get in, boys. <laughs> that was fun. Donkey. Comic book movie they need to continue with spawn. That's not the right way. That's back towards cool, though. I recognise that. Although it is right there. Oh, well, let's just... We'll take the happy accident and we'll, we'll, we'll stay here. I might go up that tower and see if it allows me to look to see if I can see the smoke from the crash that we heard. I've accidentally arrived at Kulno when I didn't mean to, so we might as well just stay here now, I think. Have I gone to a shooting range before? Only in Days of Zone. I didn't even know there was going to be an Alien series, or at least I'd forgotten. Ain't seeing no smoke. I was listening to Sports Talk Radio this morning. They were complaining about flopping in the American sports and claimed it started over the pond in soccer. Do you agree? I, I, I presume flopping is uh, like like falling over intentionally to get injured. I, I don't think it's really influenced by soccer. Maybe the, the willingness to win, but I don't know a great deal about flopping in American football. But... Uh, I certainly think it's a problem in UK sport if that if we're talking about diving, you know, faking like going over when you've not been hurt, like pretending you've been hit in the face. You see it all the time. Like one player will push the other player in the shoulder really lightly, and then the the other one goes down like a sack of shit and is holding the middle of their face. You know, I think anybody that goes down in football holding their face when you can clearly see they haven't should get punched in the face by every member of the opposite team at the end of the game. A bit like a VAR thing. Maybe just a slap. Let's keep it fair, you know. If you go down feigning an injury in the face and the, it clearly shows you weren't hit there, then the, at the end of the game, instead of a handshake, you, the other team have the right to slap you silly. <laughs> you say you don't see it very often. Like, I, I only I only really watch the Super Bowl every year, but it's not 
something you see so much in America sports. Am I struggling with that? I'll get a scope up here if I was lucky. Or nothing. But someone's been here at some point and dropped their rotten ass meat. Do you want to see my rotten ass meat, baby? Oh, what is it? Beef. They wasted cow steak. I'm never quite sure. I'm going to loot down this way and then come back and loot the tower. There should be zombums knocking around and I'm not seeing any. So this is, uh, you were asking about loot the other day, Dark Bear. This is cool though, you may or may not have made it here, but... Whilst we've not seen much so far, this spawns military loot, even though it doesn't look like it's meant to be, this does spawn military loot, so... It's usually quite a good place to come, whether it will be today or not, we shall see. Might go to Delina. I have a funny feeling Delina on this server's probably got extra bits in it compared to normal. Probably want a gun in my hands, really. It's not really somewhere that you can just. It is a military area. There's no point going gun in gun in the back. You'll probably get killed. The fact that I can remember that I was specifically asking that is impressive. Well, yeah, I remember some things. Not enough things, though. Uh, cheers for the support, by the way, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the bits. It's to Gideon. Thank you very much, too. Oh, well, that's, he's still dropping his rotten meat. to check this house. Maybe he might be cooking the rest of his rotten meat down this way. Just to my left there is a green... Oh, it's a bit further than I thought, but there is a green house. A mustachio house. I want to check it. Do I ever get burned out of playing Moss Creek? Not really, dude. I do get asked that question lots, like really regularly. It's quite a common question. I do completely understand why, but uh, I find streaming fun. Streaming Daisy is so different to just playing Daisy. I really love streaming. It, I, I just sheep or goat was trying to talk to me then. But yeah, I, I, streaming is loads of fun. Like the, the interaction, the constant toing and froing. It makes it very different than just playing DayZ, you know. I, there are lots of streamers out there that get burnt out on the game they're playing, you know. I just feel like uh, it might happen to me, but I don't feel like it's happened ever yet. There's been one or two times in the last... I've been streaming DayZ for about nine years. There's been a couple of times where the game was so broken it was just unplayable. And we're going back a long time now, but I remember playing... Uh, Insurgency stands Sandstorm for a while, and then another time I played Postscriptum for about a week to ten days, just because Daisy was so broken I couldn't fucking face it. But it hasn't been like that since like 2017, 18-ish, I don't think. Seeing smoke back there down left across the field. What, from here? Oh, dude, well, oh, no, I, I thought that was smoke from it. When I first came out, I thought that was smoke there. I don't know if you even mean here, but I don't see it. You might have thought the same thing as me. That, that looks a bit like smoke at... Yeah, anyway. Do you worry that those periods of unplayability forced out players who will never return? Dude, high pudding, by the way. 
uh, I think invariably if the game's in your library and you're given a reason to come back, you get you, you come back. You know, like since then the game's had new things launched and like clearly it hasn't hurt the game really because it's broken its all-time peak player base multiple times in the last year. I think I don't know if November was the last time, but uh, I know November was it for an entire month was its highest ever peak player base for an entire month. Not not the month after it came out, not the year it came out, but ten years down the line, you know. Like, uh, so I don't think it's hurt the game. No, I do think that they've had chances to make the game more popular more quickly and so it's burned some of them. Like for example, when the game went 1.0. It wasn't ready to be 1.0, so they did shoot themselves in the foot sometimes, for sure. But in the long run, it's got to where it needed to get to. And, well, it, st it still can get better, of course. It's not perfect, but it's certainly doing pretty well for a 10-year-old game. That's just what you want when you've got a bit of a headache, I'd say. You should just be able to go up there. It shouldn't be complicated. <laughs> All of that effort, there's going to be nothing up here. These roof spaces on Livonia are, are some of the best places to loot on Livonia. It could be really, really good, but we were shit out of luck this time, it seems. Have I found the keycard for Alteria? No, I haven't. I didn't really try yesterday, but I haven't seen one at all. When we raided Happy Bombs yesterday, he was trying to find one, and apparently he just lost one as well, but I haven't even seen a key card yet. <coughs> Fishing guy, yeah, I, I, I don't worry too much about stuff like that. It might not be just because the server's modded, but that house is on vanilla, so it probably isn't, but... Things like that, they come and go. Like there's always there's always the odd quirk with Daisy. If that's the worst we have to worry about in Daisy, we ain't got much to worry about, trust me. <laughs> it's been much worse before. Actually not finding a great deal of military loot. This is this is crap. This is normally better. It might be uh, it might be not so good on this particular server, maybe, I don't know. Normally the loot is better than this, basically. I, I'd, I'd expect to find like an assault rifle or something. But we haven't seen shit. Maybe an SKS, but something. We're going to have to come back this way in a sec, but I'm going to come up here and just check all of the military stuff. And then I'll... Uh, and then I'll come back. I want to check uh, the tower and the last couple of houses. It's nothing. That's, this is where I've already been, so I need to go this way. Yeah, I'll, I'll check the tower, and then we'll come back down that road, check that house, then we'll go to the summer camp, then we'll go to Delina. And maybe, uh, in among some of that, we'll actually find some shit, you never know. Do that house, oh, I'll do that house now. Yeah, Beetle wins, as, as Minder says, hello both, by the way. The loot counted in bases no longer counts against the loot economy anymore, so it... it uh, it's not a big deal. It used to be for a time, but it's not a big deal anymore. Oh. 
think I'll happily shoot it. Like, that that was going to scream, right? So, I might aggro a few Zeds with the shot, but I'm going to aggro a lot less than if it screamed, I think. So, we shall see. Might have got away with it. Dead Gamer, dude, thank you for the bits. Hope you're good. Green91, thank you for the 29 months. Tundra stuck. Tundra struck. Hey, it's for the resub, dude. Thank you. It's Darth Vader in this game. No, my dude's just permanently sprinting. Sometimes he gets a bit out of breath. There it is! Oh, it was further than I thought. That's We heard that crash. I thought it was not that far. Right, we've got to go there then. Last time I went to one of those on this server, I died. Maybe today will be our day. You never know. How long the pistol will stay in the pistol holster for? It go. Really? Oh, fuck me. plane's gone, but it looks like the loot is still there. I think I'm going to still go for it. I think I'm going to still go for it. I think we're, we're, we'll probably be okay. So the plane has despawned, but the loot is still there. I think we've got to check. Pairs of gloves, let's not know. Can anyone tell me if Livonia is worth paying to play? Uh, Bradster, if you're on PC, there's a shitload of free to play maps that you should play first. But yes, it's worth it. Uh, it, it certain times of the day it can be a bit tricky to play on a full pop server of complete transparency. It's been sold more than a million times, I think, on PC but there's only a small amount of people regularly playing it. But if you've been playing DayZ loads and you really love DayZ, you should get Livonian, yeah. If you've only just started playing DayZ and you've never played Namask or, I don't know, Alteria or Deer Isle or all the other maps, there's shitloads of them. No, there's loads of really good modded maps. If you played the modded maps, then you should get Livonia, yeah. If you've just started, maybe you wait. If you haven't, yes. So I want to go to that summer camp just to the right. That's where I'm hoping we might get lucky on a scope. But before we do, try and find this fucking heli, which I may... Sorry, this plane. I may struggle with. I think we had to go through that gap there. I'm starting to doubt I'm going to see it now, because it, it's, it was quite hard to follow the line through the forest, but... I think it's this way. Yeah, it was, it was, there was kind of like a clearing that I needed to follow. I think that's the clearing, and it kind of led me straight to it. But I'll know when I get to the edge of this forest, I think. If this is the opening, it's kind of back left on the far side, so we should be okay if this is the right line.
that leaves me so, that gives me some hope. Yeah, there it is. I thought I saw more than one box, to be honest. There's some empty loot on the ground, some shitty loot, but... That's kind of good, though. This, this, this was worth coming for, even if it's just the plate carrier. Probably fix it in a minute, would be wise, wouldn't it? That's dropped from a player. That's got to be dropped from a player, right? I don't think I should be fucking around here too much. Someone's definitely... So... Someone's looted it, and that's what's left behind. Thirty-six. Let's get rid of the shotgun. Six. There could be other loot here, but I, I just I think we're we're asking for trouble waiting to waiting in the field. Yeah, I've got a bandage. Thankfully, the pistol shot that we fired, uh, the pistol doesn't actually have much of a range on it in terms of being heard, so. Unless they're very, very close, they won't have heard me shoot. With any luck, we'll be okay. I'm just going to quickly sort out these trousers. Playmore could be kind of fun, but it's a bit... Uh, a bit dicey. This is so annoying. The pistols and shit just not going back. In the game in general, this is. it. Just They just don't go back where they should. It's so frustrating. Right, that is kind of useful. I'm going to forget about that. I'm not going to bother going for the Claymore. Sorry, not the Claymore. I'm not going to bother going for the... Uh, the gas zone can't be fucked. Love to smoke and watch your videos after work. Keep going, your videos are amazing. Thank you. Cheers for the support, dude. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, they might have changed clothes and then they, you're right, they might have changed trousers and then lost this loot. Like, just swapped trousers over and then lost what they wanted. You're right, that's probably what happened. And it went underneath the plane, they couldn't get to it. They have more 556 than I realised. Been picking up all sorts of shit. I can't stand the scope on this G36. Uh, the red dot's lovely, but... I, I I really don't like scopes like the uh, like the ACOG scope has the regular six times one. The, the scopes that have got both, I, I just they just really get on my tits. Addy, uh, thank you very much for the super chat. Love to smoke and watch your videos. Thank you. Cheers for tuning in, dude. Deva, thank you very much for the prime and North. Norsk C, thank you for the 23 months. That's why we're thrown in it. See these most. Is that something there? I can't work out what it is. <coughs> I 
It might be uh, like where an animal's been skinned or something. They did a couple. Probably beef or something. Probably that shit beef that we've been finding out from over there. It could have been pork. You don't normally the pigs are as a rule the pigs are normally fairly close to built up areas. They're just on the edge of a town or something. That here I would guess it'd be more likely uh, deer or cows or something. They're more drifting about in fields as a rule. Or we can come down and check this summer camp. Given that that plane that plane had been there for half an hour or so and it's been looted, that would suggest this summer camp's been looted as well, so we probably won't find too much. Find it at all, I'm going the wrong fucking way by the look of it. Wait, I thought it was down here. No, it's just to the right. I have been shot at here a few times over the years. It's quite a quiet place, but... Tell you what, I did see a trailer for that looked pretty decent. It's a gawky bars on mine. Uh, they're doing a, a quiet... Pl a, you know the film's A Quiet Place with Emily Blunt, my, uh, my hero. They're doing a prequel, which looks kind of fun. I've seen the trailer for it. I'm sure some others have seen it too, but... Looks kind of good. It, a little bit more like I Am Legend or something. It's the uh, the beginning of a quiet place, you know, like the the, the inception of the problem that caused it. Uh, I'm not even going to. It looks like it might be quite good. Is Emily Blunt a national treasure to the UK? I don't think so. She is to me. <laughs> I, I like Emily Blunt. Uh, Emily Blunt is my allowable celebrity clerk crush. I definitely have a chance. John Krasinski's got nothing on me. Aside from talent and a massive bank balance. And he's already married to Emily Blunt. But other than that, nothing. I, I have to be honest, the, the trailer to Twister made me cringe. It looked like a remake of Twister. Uh, I don't know if it's meant to be like, is it Bill Paxton or Bill Pullman? I always forget. I think it's Bill Paxton, isn't it? But I don't know if it's meant to be like his lad or something carrying it on or whatever. But... It just looked like a remake of Twister, exactly the same. I, I saw the trailer to Twist. It's called Twisters. It has. It basically looked the same. Chase they were still trying to put little ping pong balls minutes, into the sky. Flashing red. Then it just pinged up into the air and disappeared. They're, they're, they're hiding from a twister under a bridge. It looked like the same fucking film. I, I, I can't say I'm excited about that. That was a pistol scope for a long horny. Twister was an okay film. It wasn't spectacular, but it was all right. It was okay. It wasn't a bad film, but the the one they're doing now looks basically the same. I don't know. Why two rangefinders? So I've got two eyes. I had two shots and I hit him with both. He's probably only unconscious as well. That sucks. Fucking hell, it's so frustrating. All of that fucking time. All of that fucking time to just, like, 
and I and also hit the shots as well. I think he was dead. I, I I don't. I think he died. I think we both died. But I feel like that sucks. You know, I've got an iron sighted blaze, and I hit him with both shots. Fuck me, dead. That's unlucky. Thing is, the map is so big. I don't think I can run down there. I, even if the Let's say the spawn time is half an hour. If I got a spawn at Sitnik, I don't know if I could make it there in time. Maybe I could. Maybe I could make it there. I never did fix the plate. You're right. Yeah, it was damaged still. It may not have got... It may It may not have made a difference. It might have done. It might have done, mightn't it? You know. Yeah, I meant to do it later and didn't, but... It might be that the plate got ruined, or it might not be. I don't know what he was shooting me with. He may have hit me in the head for all I know, but yeah. I should have fixed the plate though, but that sucks. I'm going to try and get a Sitnik spawn. I don't think I can run back there, but I might try. I might if he was on his own, I think there might I might be able to make it back. It's it's vaguely possible. I don't know how long the if the if the if the spawn times on this are 20 minutes, I can't. If it's half an hour to an hour like vanilla, I might be able to. Sucks. Do with a zombie. I have been watching you and JLK for years now. I love your videos so much. Love from NY State. This might Thanks be okay. Thanks for making my day better whenever I watch you. I think I could probably do this. Shaker. Christics, it's easy to say you would have killed him if you've double shot him first. Uh, I, I'm quite happy I hit him with both shots, to be honest. Wait for the train. Yeah, there's an idea. If you, if you double shot someone wearing a plate carrier, you don't kill them normally. I may not have killed him. I, I didn't really get a good look at it with it being hindsight. I'm not sure if he dropped his gun. I, don't, I didn't really know. He might not even be dead. My wife asked if I got a haircut. I said no. I got them all cut. You're welcome. I'll be here all week. Uh, Shells, thank you for the 16 months. Uh, I said no, I got them all cut. Fuck it out. Shells, cheers for the 16 months. Meme musicians, thank you for the bits. Well, meme, uh, that, that sounds like a you problem. I've been here two hours. And, and to be fair, dude, I had two shots and hit them fucking both, you know. I think I did okay there, you know. I, maybe I could have leaned back behind the tree, and uh, but I, I think I had two goes and hit them both. I, I think I, I held my own. To, one thing I maybe should have done, I wish I had done, is switch to the other gun. Maybe the G36 would have been a bit of a better outcome because it's got the scope on it. So, I don't mind if we go starving to death. I just don't want to be uh, hungry as... I don't want to be thirsty and hungry, so... I'm going to go for the well on the right side here. That's kind of the way I'm heading right now, roughly, I think. And then after that, we're just going to beeline it down there and see if we can make it. I got stream sniped. Well, fucking marvellous. <laughs> no, I don't want the TP, dude. Thank you, though. Uh, 
it's good to know, but no, I, I don't want to, uh, I, I don't want to, uh, I'll make it back to my body or I won't, but it's kind of cool adventure to try. Uh, thanks for, for the heads up though, that fucking sucks. No, I don't do it, Minder. I, I I know you do it on this server, so I, I'm I, it's completely fine. But uh, if if I die stream sniper or otherwise, I just carry on. I might I'll try and run back to my gear, but I don't I don't want any of the gear back any other way. In. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you've got. The, the details and can whisper a mod or something that would be amazing just so we can know or some one of your mods whatever if, if possible so we can know who it was to sort them out in the chat as well that'd be great will he get banned for that i don't know evo that like servers servers like some servers uh do a first time you get a temporary ban some servers most servers it's an inter ban yeah Uh, Dell's meme, Alter, Robert Fisher, thank you very much for the support. Robert, that's very generous, by the way. You and JLK for years. I love your videos so much. Love from New York State. Thanks for making my day better whenever I watch you. Thank you, Robert. That's very generous, dude. I'm in some pretty exalted company there on YouTube. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, Hell, Hall Arms Fire, thank you as well. Can I please have his channel points when he's banned? Have I tried playing Daisy Armor Reforger? I haven't, no. Uh, I, I don't really want to spoil anything in the new engine yet, you know? Or maybe I'm... Like, I don't think that zombies modded into Armour Reforger are quite fleshed out yet. I think there's more work to be done on them, probably. Uh, but I never really played the Armour 3 mods for, for Daisy. I really like the more civilian-y, survival-y, adventure-y version of the game. And you don't normally get that on, on a modded version that, that comes from the true mill sim as such. I'm sure it's lovely, but... For now, I don't want to spoil my experience of the new engine because I'm hoping one day Daisy might get that engine, or maybe Daisy too if there is one. You know, oh, cool. There's no door. No door on that side, so he can't be in the house. No, he might be in a bush. Might be just stopped in a bush there. Doesn't look like he's carried on behind. I don't need to drink loads. I can. There's another well further south I could maybe go to. And there he is. I, I just looked left and he must have gone right. Fucking sucks. I can actually spawn in this town, but... What a... What a fantastical dude that is shooting people at a well in a spawn town it's the sort of thing I'd do <laughs> I, I'd eat, at least I'd eaten my spawn food so he literally gets nothing immediately recognize this but that's quite common for me in Livonia a year TRMZ love take the TP uh, I, I, I don't I don't take uh, teleports or loot I'm not uh, I'm not suggesting it's wrong I think if it's fair for everyone and it happens on a server then it's completely fine but as, a, as my own personal take I, I don't do it, and the reason I don't do it is that I I personally, like let's say it happened seven times over the course of a year, that's seven times where viewers are like confused as to why I'm getting loot back, I'm spending ages explaining it, I guess I'm explaining why I'm not doing it right now, but 
uh, there's always going to be a small handful of people that are going to have some kind of doubt that I'm getting the gear back legitimately. So, and maybe I'm just getting it back because I died and I'm a noob. You know, I'd just rather take away the uh, the doubt. Where the fuck am I? Ah, oh, I know where we are. I, I, I can run back this way. We've just lost a bit of time, basically, but we've not lost like, much. I should have recognised it. I should have gone the other way. It's weird when you're like, that town's pretty obvious. We were just in this town. We ran along the road and went to the right. We wasted about a minute. Just saw there's some real life tactical bacon. Yeah, it looks exactly like it. There's the same black can and everything. Yeah, I, would I try it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I would. I think it's quite expensive. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> uh, three knuckles deep. Thank you for the follow on YouTube. GBA hacky. Thank you for the twelve. Cheers for the support. Thank you. May I ask how old you are? I'm 38, dude. Uh, forever. Daisy's 40% off at the moment, is it, Uncle Food? That's, that's cool. Yeah, I, I, like... Obviously, only streamers can get stream sniped, right? So it's a, it's a problem for me. It's not it's not a, if I get teleported back, I'm not I'm only getting what I already had. I'm not gaining anything, but it just creates questions to my audience that I don't need. I don't need any extra doubt, you know. For the same reason why I don't have any server that I have access to. I don't have access to any server. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having access to any servers, but if I don't run any servers, there can be no doubt that I'm like playing on. A, Certainly no one that's regularly streaming DayZ now I've seen any issues with at all, by the way. But it's possible if you're hosting your own server, you can fall into the trap of, I just got killed, immediately go and check in what happened. That dude, I, I, do you know, it's just, it just I start creating too much doubt. I just don't need any drama like that. I'd rather just play the game. I say I refer back to it all the time. But when I very first started YouTube, one of my only thoughts was... I just want to be a regular gamer and play the game as best as I can, like everybody else does, and try to relay the experiences I have in the game. You know, all right, I'm a streamer, but I'm still trying to do that. You know, that means I don't teleport back. Hello, uh, thank you for the 27. I think I missed your one, dude. Thank you. Right, so now we're going to try the other well in grabbing. And si sorry, Sitnik, and see if we get lucky. Tide Papper, it's, it's something that just never goes away. I, it really is baffling, to be honest, but it. it it never goes away. The reality is, it doesn't take many people, you know. Stream snipers aren't, they're not, there's not loads of them. But it only takes one or two, you know. It only takes one or two to, uh, to become more common. Like, like, you only, you only, like, if I grow, like, during the course of the stream today, I might only need 1% of the people that follow me to be decide to stream snipe. And that's another two stream snipers. Maybe another one and a half. Whatever it might be. Maybe one. But every day there might be one more. That's you know? <laughs> just the way it goes. <laughs> But it's no big deal, it's just part of streaming, you know. If, if you want to not get stream sniped, you have to not stream. So that's, that's about the only way you can do it. The Duke, uh, they they know. They were, they were watching movements and when people log in and what routes they take and such like. Some servers are really... watch things really closely and others don't, but that's for them to... ...worry about. Oh Lord, I really don't want to know, answer how do I know how do they know what server I'm on, dude? But 
a lot of uh, a lot of server owners will have my uh, Steam for a start. But that aside, dude, it's not hard to work out what server somebody's on if you've got a pair of eyes and play the game. Little bit different like say you're playing the mouse and it looks like you're on a day one server there's three you know but uh, beyond that most of the time if I'm watching someone playing a kind of game that I play I can probably watch it and say what server they're on just within about 30 seconds you know that same dude has decided to come to the police station now I'm gonna be plenty pissed <laughs> I just need to drink at the well. We did get an extra can of tuna, I think, from, from that uh, just then, so that will help me. I don't think I'm going to make it back to my body, to be honest. I think I've fucked around too much with the death. That death has cost me massively. It is slip, but it's also pretty obvious anyway, you know, if, if I'm playing on servers and bumping into people, which does normally happen, you know, it's obvious I'm not on an empty one. There aren't many streamers that are streaming to a large audience on empty servers, you know, it doesn't happen very much. Uh, Captain, thank you very much for the eight months for the support, dude, thank you. There was another shotgun in there, I think, but I think we should just ignore it and run. Livonia is better in the northern towns. Well, only if you want to stay a newspawn, though. You know, there's no good loot in the northern towns. It, it's There's a lot more action player-wise in the northern towns, but if you want to get good loot, you have to go down south, don't you? Like, we hadn't been alive very long, a couple of hours. I'd got a blaze, I'd got a handful of bullets, I'd got a G36. Uh, I'd got a plate carrier that I forgot to fucking repair, and, and a few things, you know. So I'd found some decent stuff. Uh, if I'd stayed up north, there's no way I'd have had those things. Though. The loot in the Vonia in the northern area is kind of shit, isn't it? How come you don't get blood on your hands after bandaging yourself? Because you put the bandage on the blood, you don't put your hands on it. <laughs> I guess that's why. Like, you just wrap the bandage around it, right? Hey Vince, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Good morning, Vietnam. Plode, how you doing? Piod, sorry. Pied? Piod? P-O-D? Uh, cheers for coming in. That's true as well, N. Jackson. You know, like, if you've got your own blood on your hands, you're not going to get salmonella like you would from a chicken. So from a gameplay perspective, it's not, uh, it's not probably that big of a deal. Where did all the Bitterroot servers go? Jan, Bitterroot is not finished. It's When it comes up, it comes up for a test. It was up for about a week, maybe a week to ten days, and then uh, it goes back down again. That's what happens with Bitterroot. I feel like it's too hard to survive in Daisy. I don't. I guess I have got a shitload of hours, though, but... Daisy, if, if you're playing on an empty server, you can survive... You can survive forever. Fucking hell, that was loud. Sound like a fucking Gauss rifle. Probably was a petrol station being blown up, I would guess. I can't even think if there is a petrol station in that town, though, to be honest, but... Uh, 
Yeah. Mbappe leaving as a free agent. Has it been? Has he signed anywhere though? Pre Brexit. Is there a pre-contract with anyone? Oh, it'd be so cool. I'd love to see Mbappe at Liverpool. That would be fucking amazing. I know he comes with some baggage, but he is he is probably along with Haaland. He's they're the best two strikers on the planet. He will never go to Liverpool. They can't afford him. He's only he can only really go to Real Madrid. But I can still dream. is this? Where the fuck am I going now? I don't think I want to follow that road. I, I think I've, I'm going to cost myself some time here. I've no fucking clue where I am. That's nice. If you had to choose, would you rather wear wet shoes all your life or have an itchy jumper all your life? I th I've got to be honest, if either of those two are the only choices, I think I'd rather not have much of a life. I, I don't think I could stick either of those. Wet shoes or an itchy, itchy jumpers are a fucking nightmare, right? Oh, we're back on track now. Actually, doesn't it, being left of the map is not a big deal. It's not a bad idea. Have to wear wet shoes all your life, or an itchy jumper all your life. I think I'll go with wet shoes unless I'm somewhere very cold. I'd rather have wet shoes, because I don't wear wet shoes all the time, right? I, I'd have to wear the jumper in the house, whereas the shoes at least could come off. An itchy jumper is like you're wearing a, a top, like a sweater, and that's all you're wearing. And it's so you like wearing a woolly jumper, and it's really itchy or something. Thank you very much for the support. Welder, thank you for the three months. Uh, young Mike, thank you. What's the Taco Bell from last night? Oh dear. <laughs> Cheers, Truffles. Well, you're at home, the jumper come off. I, I feel like, DCW, that you have to wear clothes in your house most of the time. Like, maybe you don't. I just, I, I guess if it's an itchy jumper all your life, you definitely can wear a jumper until you're in bed. Whereas shoes, I don't think you. I think it's a bit harsh if you're forced to wear them like while you're having a bath. They're still they're wet, aren't they? I suppose. An itchy dumper, blimey. How long ago did I die? I don't think I'm going to make this. I've never even seen this lake before. not wear a t-shirt under a jumper i often don't chris i often wear just a hoodie or something like that you know like as in not one that zips just like an all-in-one type thing you know I, I i get too hot i'm i very often only wear a jumper i, like, I like only wear a sweater I, I i'm quite keen on a very very thin t-shirt but i'm a very hot person if i wear two layers i can end up like a fucking beetroot face you know A very hot person indeed, yeah. Hot body. Paying enough attention to where I'm going. <sighs> this is good, that's... We're, we're going to end up on the edge of Giralto. 
I'm going a bit out of the way, but we're, uh, it just shows how much of the Livonia is not really needed at the moment. We're still feeling like we're, like this should be the edge of the map, if you like. There's, a, there's still a bit more. We're not far from the edge of the map here, but there could be a bit more in the map, if that makes sense. If you look at it, there's quite a lot of empty space they could have put shit in. Might want to go a touch closer to the castle, I suppose, for now. Uh, Christopher Mooland, I feel like I did miss you. Thank you for the, the subbing on YouTube. Thank you, dude. I have a friend who wears socks to bed. Pretty sure he's a psychopath. I think if it's extraordinarily cold, I, I maybe twice a year I may wear socks in bed, but... That's, that is not good for me. I couldn't stick it. What's my go-to pot for medium? High, t high or full? Uh, I only really play lower pop servers if it's experimental and I'm hoping it's going to get fuller, like the patch has just dropped or something. Uh, Almighty Truffles, they said that they would do some work on Livonia in 2022 and they added the bunker and whatnot. And then for 23, they said they were going to focus on the Northwest Airfield. So I, I don't think there's anybody working on Livonia at the moment. I suspect it's kind of done for now. I feel like, it's a guess, but I feel like the map cre they, they hired a map creator in uh, late 2022, I think. I feel like the map creator has been working on a new map or something new that's going to be announced fairly soon. I hate that. I hate those choices though. Itchy jumper or fucking wet shoes. So, we're at this castle. Can't even fucking see the castle. What's your go to pop servers to join? Low, medium, high? I think we can make it. But yeah, I, I didn't realise that was a tip to be. I just read it as a message uh, at Mellow. Maybe I did and I just didn't. But thank you for the super chat, by the way. Thank you. I always in, I always tend to try and join servers where I'm more likely to bump into players, you know. God, it's a long... I ever tried the lab server? No, it sounds like Trakov, doesn't it? it? Sounds like Tarkov labs. The closest I get to watch, uh, as close as I get to labs, is watching Stankrat. <laughs> That's how you stank them. I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to start saying yikes or aim labs. Yeah, I actually I I tried to do aim labs before this stream, but uh, my head was so dodgy I felt really sick and a bit ill. I had a bit of a noggin. And so I, uh, I turned on aim labs. I didn't even finish. Uh, didn't even finish one round. Oh wow! I should be welcome with open arms in there. Look at that. I'm the one with the splint. Zoinks. What, that, what, like like early Batman? Kapow. Zoink. <laughs> Kablamo. <laughs> How did I die? Uh, I got shot at by a dude and I, I think I, I hit him twice with my blaze. And my, just as I fired my second shot, he killed me. Right. 
I, I want to try and have a look at the map. This map is great for telling you what's different on the server, which is really good news. But it's so much harder to fucking navigate with. I don't want to go too far from Giralto, actually. I'm just, I, I, if I go too far left, I'm going to get fucking lost. Let's just go the way I know. I don't think I'm going to make it back in time for my dead body, to be honest, but we'll see. Not helped by the fact that I keep stopping, I suppose. Military containers there. Subby, sub, sub. Just keep subbing. I just thought we'll have a quick check. I've got this uh, Vepa. Maybe we could have got some some bullets. We didn't do. Do I know where I died? Yeah, I do. I do know where I died. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be running back otherwise, but yeah, I, I died not far from the summer camp, just down by cool though. I know where I was. I was behind a tree on the edge of a like crossroads. Honey Badger, I, I, that's the reality of it, right? That that assuming that the person that would just kill me was a stream sniper, and the admins on the server were watching, and their their movement suggests that they absolutely were. Right. So they know where I am, they know what I'm doing, they know what gear I've got, and they can find me specifically using the stream, and they still fucking died, or at the very least got, got knocked completely uncon. I'm guessing they died, but anyway, nonetheless, like, that, that, that's just the way it is, you know. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's over towards the summer camp. I can't really do anything about the shot. I need to go and try and get my gear if I can. Burgi, uh yeah, it it's a little bit tricky. I expect, uh, official servers have way more cheaters in, unfortunately, but it's rare that you get it that bad from what you've just said. That's quite rare. Savage, there's nothing I can do about the the guy. I like I, I didn't report like the dude logging into the shed or anything. No. It might have got looked into for all I know, but I've got to be honest, dude, I don't really report anyone. The admins sometimes, if I'm streaming, the admins might, like, let um, a server mod, no, a server admin know. My mods might let somebody know while I'm live, but I never put in reports myself. Maybe I should, but I, uh... Dealing with stream snipers, from my perspective, feels like trying to hold the tide back with your bare hands, you know? Like, it's better to just move on and not think about it. Uh, Baltic, thank you for the subby sub, sub, dude, thank you. say you know I always put the in, in the title of the stream it tells you the map I'm on now we're playing Livonia at the moment which is one of the two official maps from Daisy themselves Sarah that happens sometimes but uh, it may not be happening now but it does happen that shot was uh, I think it was a blaze and it was fairly near the summer camp that shot was probably just somebody shooting an animal to, to cook it and eat it you know that Usually if you hear a single shot in a field, more often than not, it's uh, it, it's someone hunting with any luck. God, this is taking fucking up. Walk past a bit of grass. Damn it. I'm going to put the gamma up. There's another, another base there, look. We're not too far away now. Seems like he's getting closer. I think my loot's going to despawn, to be honest, but if it does, it does. 
I did leave a plate, not a plate, I did leave a stab vest in the field, but whether I'll be able to find that or not, probably not. Hello, Lee and Baltic, thank you. Still not even anywhere near past Giralto yet. Easy, it feels like we hit Giralto ages ago. Are you really shooting at me? Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> I couldn't shoot back from there with what I had. Right, we're going to switch to Alteria. I think I'm geared on Alteria. Like, he's probably got a base here, and he probably thinks I'm running back to a base. Like, there, there's quite a few people based around Jorelto on that server. There's bases knocking around. So he's probably thinking he's killing someone that's running back uh, to get to a base, you know. Oh, that fucking sucks. Right, I'm going to go for a piss. Alteria, so I'm going to switch to that. I am geared, or semi-geared, I'm closing and coming out, so from yesterday. At least we'll have some
This is a fun. I'm sure it should be the other way around. <laughs> I'm sure I should be getting uh, tea made for me while I'm streaming, not making it. I'm sure of it. <laughs> right, bear with me a sec. <clears throat> Hunter, thank you for the follow on YouTube, dude. Definitely didn't play Twitch Trinity. My missus is in the bath. <laughs> so trust me, she ain't letting me have a shit while she's in the bath in the same bathroom. That ain't happening. Rusty, you can't post it because whoever set it up has set it up as capitals and it's catching Nightbot as capital spam. So that's all it is, dude. We don't have, no, we've only, we've only got one, we're a one toilet household, dude. I only live in a small house. Right, come on, let me in. What's going on here? I reckon the server's gone down for five o'clock. I bet it's having a restart. Maybe not, I don't know. It's weird. Why am I not going in? Yeah, it has gone offline. It's gone offline for a restart. Fucking hell. That's a shame. I, I really sucked. I would have liked to carry on. I was enjoying that run on the phone, yeah? I, I've got to be honest, though. I enjoyed the hits I made on the dude that... Uh, I enjoyed the hits, even though he killed me. It was still nice to hit both shots. It's actually something that I would consider quite the luxury. I'd like at some point in down the line, me and the missus will move. When we end up one day, hopefully with a shower and a, and a, and a toilet and a separate room from the bath and the other toilet, that'll be like the, the proper luxury, <laughs> luxury living. Like when we, <laughs> I don't want to go into too many details, but we were both extraordinarily ill at the same time about, like about the second week of January. It would have been a lot more of a simple affair if we'd have had uh, extra facilities. Boom, thank you. Uh, we're on the hour. I'm just going to click, click play and hope we get in now. I think the server should be up. Should be up. Multiple wing mansion with several toilets in every wing. <laughs> I don't think I need wings. I, I think I'd, I'd really like a house that's detached from others. So uh, we're in a terraced house, which means there's houses either side, right? Uh, in the long term, I'd really like to, although we're in end terrace, so it's only on one side to be fair, but I'd like to have a house where it's just standalone with four walls all around it and no fucker else attached to you. That'd be good. Truffles, I, I didn't say you were lying. I just said the one I'd heard. Right, we're on the way in. So we've got a Mosin with no scope. We've got an M16 with two small mags. This is the guy that uh, was getting shot at by that dude on the boat and I, I, I managed to get all the way over to him and then fell into the water and had to swim back. <laughs> that one.
what I really need is uh, some kind of scope for the Mosin. So I'm going to quickly check that hunting stand at the top of the hill. Oh, robot link. Bro, thank you very much for the four months. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the four month inning. Diloga, thank you for the prime. Ducky, <laughs> thank you for the follow on YouTube. She does read some things out a little bit weird, doesn't she? She sounds sometimes like a little bit withering, like she's just like, <coughs> I really can't be asked, you know, like a bit like the news reader when, when they're working their last day or something. You know? I don't know. So anyway, uh, we're on Alteria now, uh, not Livonia. A little bit disappointed to be switching, to be honest. I really hope, I, I thought that was, that was enjoying the run on Livonia, but there we go. T-R-M-Z-G heart. She said that differently, <laughs> didn't she? Like when it's a wanna. I think she, to be honest, I think Robot Lady is somewhat dismayed when she's forced to read so many herself. She's like, I don't want to do this. He knows he, I know he doesn't like it. When I read out all these emotes, he gets annoyed. I know he don't like it. So she doesn't put her heart and, so, heart and soul into it the same. That's what I reckon. Yeah, exactly. When she's got to read a load back to back to back, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she's going to have like a... a Twitch resubscribers. I'd like. I'd like to uh, exterminate. <laughs> list. <laughs> uh, I think that's that's definitely the case. He's got a hit list. As if by magic. Thank you for the sixteen months. You're not on it, dude. No message at all. He's preparing for Skynet. Hi, Evil. Hope you're good, dude. Alteria is a map being made by John McLean. Smaller map, PvP focused. It's really, really fun. At Sea Running Mance, I hate the emotes, but I don't want to lose my job to these young AI punks who want my job. <laughs> uh, I don't know, File. Or in this case, Robot Lady. I'm contemplating changing your voice, Robot Lady, and then you will be no more. Uh, file transfer. Thank you very much, dude. Cheers for the resub. Come on, give me the scope. Give me the scope. Give me some sugar. There's usually players here. I, 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 I'm really not happy about being here with no range. That's not good. Now, I'm going to be really annoying and go across towards the dam. Having a look as best I can. I don't... I do have a scope. I can't shoot it, but... I think I'm going to go across towards the dam. I'm yellow thirsty. I've got a bottle and I can uh, fill it up with water and drink the fuck, can't I? So we ought to do that. And then I think I'll loot the military base side first, I suppose. <coughs> Did I just threaten robot lady's job? Yes. Daily Nomad, dude. Well, sorry. Yeah, no range in here is tricky. I haven't seen... I'm, I'm sure they'll be on this server, but I haven't seen one of those uh, Mosin rail mounts on this... When I was running yesterday, I, I hadn't seen one all day. <coughs> I'd like to find a, a rail mount, then we could just drop this pill out on it. That'd be good. Wet Pooch, I love this town for PvP. I think it's... It, it's so nicely laid out for PvP. It's really good. 
It's a little bit similar to old school Cherno, not in terms of its layout, but kind of still in terms of its layout. There's some apartments overwatching a triple yellow, <coughs> and then there's some other places you can snipe from. It, it's really good. Obviously, it's more of an end game town, so it, it's like Cherno's on the coast. You can't really have military loot there or an abundance of it, but it has a few characteristics from that that make it really kind of special for me anyway. I really like it. I think it's great. Uh, DJ Dave, I've only just switched to Alteria and we're a long way from where the card spawned, so we've not even attempted finding one yet. Do you? <coughs> this fucking vision impairment thing, isn't it? I need meds. Uh. I, I kind of do, but it's only a cold. The worst it can do is, like, maybe I'll sneeze near a player and then they'll, uh, they'll know I'm around. But it, it, it doesn't, it's not going to kill me. Oh, there's a tent there, look. It's really not going to do anything, you know, like, it's only a cold. It's more of a pain in the ass than anything else. It, that's it. probably said that during the plague. Well, I don't think I've got the plague. Um, you hear flies in the game anyway. It wasn't dead body flies. It was just the flies you get in the ambient sound. I like that sound. Sounds good. Oops. Tasteless Foxy, thank you very much for the support. Uh, I, I don't really want to change Robot Lady. I would like Robot Lady to be able to read emotes, though. I wish she could. That's an upgrade she definitely needs. Just have a look. I've come here because these little tables might spawn us some uh, some kind of PU scope or whatever. You know that would be good. Not today. Oh, it's a banner. Do I have 308? Yep. It's time to start running. That's really good then. That's cool. I'm just going to drop the Pioneer. Sorry, the Pioneer. We're going to drop the Mosin. <laughs> Seems painful dropping a Mosin, but I've got to take the Pioneer. Sorry, I've got to take the, the Savannah. I'm going to drop a few rounds as well. Tiger tees off in 40 minutes. Talk about respawning a lot. <sighs> Tiger tees off in 40 minutes. Well, I don't even know what what what's on at the moment. What's what what is he playing in at the moment? Is he actually any good nowadays? You know, he he did have a spell where he was starting to win again a while ago. Then he had that car crash, right?
PGA Tour. I, well, I, I mean by his own standards, not by other people's standards. If I had the option, would I have an Emily Blunt voiceover? Uh, I don't know. It might be a bit cheesy. I, the only way, the only way I'd want Emily Blunt's voice reading any alerts, Evo, is if she's sitting next to me in this room, whilst whilst stroking my leg, happily reading out the the, the the reading them out live as they as they happen, you know. Uh, cheers for the for the bit, Dan. Dude, Bobby Python, thank you for the new sub. Very kind, dude. Thank you. Well, I think I'd only want it to stroke my leg while I'm streaming. Otherwise, I'd be uh, I'd be like Captain Lassard behind that uh, behind that uh, that oh platform. No, what's that thing with the mic stands on that you you stand behind? What's that called? I'd be like Captain Lassard or Mahoney, depending. Podium, yeah, that'll do. The podium, really yeah. Dave movie, and you were gonna be the main character. Who would you choose to play you? Do you want if, uh, and and you were gonna be the main character? Who would you want to play me? John Candy, R.I.P. John Candy. <laughs> Lecter, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Lecter. Jonah Hill. I don't know. Johnny Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Attack back. I don't know why I'm picking up these. Oh, they are good. <coughs> Definitely want those. AWM Mac, blimey. Hate <sighs> that A Cox gun. Ooh. Need that. I really want that. Oh, I've got space. The pouches as well, so it's safe. I know exactly where I'm going to put that mine. It's going to be epic. If I live long enough. be honest I've got a, I'm kind of okay I think I'm going to go on to the apartments for a second and overwatch would you say the less experienced players to stay at shy away from Altera due to high pop also the the loot seems quite high the loot is not easy in the beginning Nox it, it, it's it's not it's kind of tricky in the beginning to get a start because it's a smaller map, you can travel to the better areas relatively quickly, but the, rel the air those better areas are more dangerous, you know, but... Altiri is not a terrible map to learn on. You're certainly going to learn about interacting with other players and PvP and whatnot, but... Uh, I, I honestly think if you're new to the game, the best map to learn the game on is Chernerus. It's, it's a bit more... Uh, a bit more adventure -y. You're learning more about loot routes and stuff. It's the OG map. Chernerus is the most balanced map for survival. Uh, I think. But it's had so many years more than any any other map to be developed, you know. So, if it were me, I'd I'd be playing Chernerus if I was new. As a map to play after you've learnt the game and learnt the basics, maybe you've got hundred hours or something, you know. Alteria is not a bad one to play. Oh, 
Well, Essica is similar to uh, to Altiri Evil Man. They're, like, if you want a bit more action and you want to, to pick up the basics, Essica's kind of okay, as is Altiri. I think they're kind of similar. Oh, tea is good. <coughs> know why I ran past the first one. The mouse seems perfect for beginners, it's definitely... Not if you're playing the mouse where it's hard and you've got to make fires. The mouse is massively harder to survive on. If you're playing the mouse with, like, regular the mouse settings, as in, like, Sumrax vision for the mouse, then you're gonna have to make fires all the time, you're gonna have to really struggle to get a start, like... You, you, you don't spawn with enough stuff to make fires or to... or to... see in the dark and whatnot. The mouse is great for interactions, but it's n it's not a good learner map, I don't think, because you're gonna you're gonna have no clue about all of the stuff to keep your character alive. DNA Mav, oh dear. <laughs> it is cruel, but it could save me while I'm up here. Someone could come up to try and get me. So I've put it on that one. There's that, that apartment and that apartment. The entrances are facing that way. But this apartment, the entrance is facing that way. So if somebody was going to try and flank onto the roof, I feel like the middle one would be the one. So. Staying a while longer. Like, we could get shot unconscious here, or even <laughs> killed, potentially, and, and that could save me. <coughs> like, it wouldn't, well, it, if I'm dead it won't save me, but it could kill my killer, if that makes sense. That'd be kind of fun. Fuck him. <coughs> it's actually very rare that there's nobody here. Somewhat surprised at the moment. Like... To be fair, last time I was I was here, it felt like there was no one here, and then there was like squads, and that's what I suspect will happen again. It's a really high traffic area. This. <coughs> Sooner this cold goes. Fucking. Okay, that well has been added on this server I think kind of cool to be able to spot it as well I'm surprised it's as quiet as it is there's usually fucking Oodles of oodles. <coughs> it's fucking quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, there are only two official maps, uh, Livonia and Chernerus. They're the only two official maps, too.
Nobody here. I'm going to give it another minute, and then we're going to go and check the rest of the military and go somewhere else, I think. Aspson, I don't know what this town town is called. Uh, I call it South Dock Shitsville. I don't. I just called it that now. But it's uh, Shooty McBoatface. Grand evening. <coughs> the, the, this is really well thought out. The only thing I want to know is this, right? Who the fuck wants to build or live in apartments that are like... They're like all around it. Like, you know, they're, they're sort of laid out around it. Like, the fronts of the apartments are designed to overwatch like this really nice area. Like, uh... Like there's a nice park, a bit like Central Park in New York or something, you know. They're, they're all laid out, all these apartments, around this nice area. And it's actually a great big pile of dirty industrial and fucking silos, you know. So, but you'd think you'd build the apartments facing the other way, really, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> the poor fuckers. I, I guess they all work in the docks, though, right? At least they don't have to commute very far. actually loot up here. Do you know what? I never even bothered ever looking for loot on this route. Ever. I never once thought to check for loot on it at all. Oh, that, that sounds like that sounds like action to me. Right, we're going to go to that. Fuck it. And then we'll come back here, and by then there'll be people. Not everyone can have a mansion view. I, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> I don't think I should be wasting my time doing this, should I? Just once. Let's go. Don't go back up the middle one. I won't. You can't pick up a mine drake. You can disarm it with a screwdriver, but I think there are some risks attached. There's some other things you can disarm it with. I think you can use a lockpick as well, I think, but I would never disarm a, a, a mine. I'd just steer well clear if I were you. Johnny Twitch and Del, good evening. Uh, Del, uh, Johnny Twitch, good evening to you as well, or afternoon, whatever. Uh, cheers for coming in, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Or Tech News and Nomads, thank you as well. In America land, we call those apartments the projects. Projects. You mean? Isn't that where all like the ice cubes and stuff come from, the projects? That's the thing, and they don't normally overwatch, fa overlook factories. That's exactly <laughs> true. That was my point. <coughs> and iced teas, but most definitely not vanilla. <laughs> uh, cheers, Stingray, dude. Thank you for the resub. JR, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you very much. Cheers for the uh, resubscribing. I don't want to aggro them.
don't think they were aggroed on me. I think they were just aggroed on the sound of the shot. Got to be a bit careful here. There is a distinct possibility that there are dudes around this hill. However, if there was people around here, you'd think they'd go and have a little investigation of the uh, of the helicopter that we're heading to. Yeah, yeah, dude. Thank you for the gifted subs, man. Very, very kind. Cheers for the continued support, dude. Very much. And Jack, thank you for the Prime. Cheers for tuning in. Thank you for using your Prime on my channel, dude. Thank you. What's left, Pithy? If you if you just say left, that's not going to help me. <laughs> but yeah, if you saw a dude, then uh, I could be getting shot any second. It, it, it's, it's all good, but the problem is by the time I've read it, you know, I might have even changed direction and stuff. I just it, it doesn't do me much good. <coughs> I ought to get a gun out. Though. I mean, I ought to keep my gun out that I just put away. It's all good, dude. Don't worry. So we already came this way, but I, I've got to go and check the heli out. <coughs> you know, it's about time this cold fucked off. Seeing any dead sets, only alive, alive O ones. That's good news. Actually, spawned in in that house when we started today. I've not checked it thoroughly, but that's about as thorough as I check anywhere, so let's go. Wisconsin, I and mean, I've got a cold and my screen's going blurry. Unfortunately, the, the screen going blurry happens with loads of illnesses, dude. If you're sneezing or coughing with it, it's only a cold or flu, and you need either vitamins or tetracycline antibiotics to get rid. Uh, if you've... The screen can go blurry with loads of illnesses, but if you've eaten like uncooked meat or raw meat, sorry, if you've eaten uncooked meat or burnt meat, or if you've drunk uh, with, if you've drunk, start again, if you've eaten food with bloody hands and no gloves, or if you've drunk dirty water from a river or from a bottle that you found and you didn't empty the water out uh, or clean it, then that can they can all cause that as well. Substatica heli crashes last for about half an hour. Is kind of the standard. About half an hour, and then they move somewhere else. and then fucking 16, we've already got one. Oh. I really like that scope. It might not be the best on the Savannah, but... Scope a lot. It certainly gives me a lot more options with the scope for now. It, it zooms in a lot further. It's six times instead of four times, I think. And also you've got the choice to be zoomed in a little bit or all the way. It's a full auto modded M16, is it? Got a 
cleaning kit. Ah, oh, bollocks. I'm not going to bother. Ah, uh, maybe I should. If I die now, then I'm going to be blaming you entirely, okay? Just full transparency. <laughs> Bit lucky with the, where the zombie placements. Yeah, it is. It takes scopes as well. So it's not full modded, but it, it takes scope, so it's it's like the M16 we have now, burst or sem semi-auto, but it can take scopes too. I'm not sure actually, I don't have a cleaning kit. Yeah, yeah I could put the ACOG on it, I'm not good, I think I'm going to drop this. I'll just run back for nothing, but anyway. Uh, Jack and JR, thanks again. Peeps, thank you. This is so much better. I really love this spectroscope. I, th I think it would make the DMR OP. And it, you can get it now for the DMR, right? But I would love them to add the, DM the spectroscope to, to regular vanilla DayZ. It's, it's such a good scope. We've actually managed to do that without overwatching any, sorry, without disturbing any of the Zeds, so there is a small chance that we could uh, catch somebody at it, as it were. Does Altiri even have the DMR? Adam, yeah, it, it does. Uh, Robin had one the other day on the run that we were having. ruin it with dark glass and reflective glare probably should be proud of yourself what for dropping a gun Robin I think that's probably what you mean or for doing the zombies one or the other but if, no it can't be vanilla dude you can only really get true vanilla on Chernarus and Livonia everything else is a modded map and that normally means there's some kind of mods involved you know like this map itself, hosted by, it's designed by John McLean. As it comes as standard, there are modded guns into it <coughs> from the map creator himself. I haven't got the patience to wait a great deal longer. Kind of interesting that the vanilla scopes don't work properly when you zoom in and out like this. Like this is not, the rain still works, right? You can see the rain. But if you use a vanilla scope that, that works in the same way as this, then you don't get the rain in the scope. Like the Longhorn scope, for example. How do you zoom in and out like that? Middle mouse wheel bullet. Hardy Hobo, thank you for the 32 months. Very, very kind, dude. Thank you. Well, obviously some scopes don't zoom in bullet, it depends what scope you're using, but if you're using like a hunting scope on a mo on a Tundra or a Blaze, then it should work, yeah. There. 
want to fuck about with a bear, really. Can I explain writing on a scope? Nah. I've no fucking clue about the 7, 8 and 9 and 10. That, that, they're probably similar, but I wouldn't trust this. It's a modded scope, and obviously scopes are set up for particular guns, right? But the 3, uh, 5 and 6, and the line in between the 3 and the 5, that's a 4. That's 300 metres, 400 metres, 500 metres and 600 metres. And those widths, uh, I, I would, I guess 7, 8 and 9 are relating to the height of players. But if we'll come on to 3, three 4, 5 and 6... That's the width of a player. So say there's somebody standing there. Like let's say let's say that dome there is the width of a player. So you you get the width of the player. It's six hundred meters away, roughly. That's how it works. So if someone's standing front on or back on to you, it's the shoulder to shoulder width of a player. And you line up the line with how wide the person is, and that's how far the range is. That's what those mean. I would guess that the other ones are to do with height, so you place the dude inside the crosshair and if they fit exactly height top top to bottom, I would guess it's that, but to be honest, it, it's irrelevant really, but because this scope is, like I'm using this scope right now and it's with a 308 rifle that ha behaves differently than say if I put it on an M4, you don't know how the scope is set up for what gun, so I wouldn't really use it. Well, now use my rangefinder and prove it. Well, that's not going to work, Ed Lover, because I wasn't aiming at the width of a player. It was, it, it was just an any old random shape to, to give an example, you know, like the width of that thing wasn't the width of a player would be at that distance. <coughs> yeah, the bottom left would be height as well, but you can't see it. Yeah, the bottom left would be height of a dude. I'm going to need to go to the well, but I think what I'm going to do is kind of just loop my way there. Oh my, there's a lot more zombies now. To me, that means some fuckers here. But I'm not going to loop my way there. That's too many Zeds. There's got to be other players about. Never actually seen zombies down there before. <coughs> Hello, if you mean the, the number beginning with six, that's the current sub count on Twitch. So that's my current sub count on Twitch, that's all that is, dude. I could set one up for YouTube. I never really thought about doing it, but I could set one up for YouTube. I don't actually know what it is. I'm guessing it's about 800 or something, but I don't know. Oh, on the scope. The number, if you mean the 25 there, that's the total range. I don't know about any other number in the bottom left. I don't even see it. Oh, that's, that's telling you what it's set up for. Hang on. Uh, seven to a thousand is five five six. So it, so it's telling you that it's set up for five five six mg on the left, and then five five six carbine on the right. So in theory, that should work if you put it on a uh, on an M4 or something. That the the five to six hundred should work with an M4. Where does, uh, yes and no, they're, they're not going to ever be as good as they were unless I stop streaming, but they've got better than they did. On the subject of YouTube, unfortunately, uh, 
there's going to be no edited YouTube video this weekend. I can't wait until I stream on Sunday and people are going, where's the video? No video. Where's the video? No video. Where's the video? <laughs> uh, yeah, there'll be no video, unfortunately. And Cooper's had, I had yesterday and today off sick with a stomach bug. Uh, and he's editing lights out, which is a massive edit, so it's not done. There are so many Zeds here, I'm somewhat worried I shouldn't be doing this. I've never seen this many zombies around here before. <coughs> Do you want to make more money off YouTube or Twitch? Uh, in the whole history of doing this, I've made more money from Twitch every month other than about four or five. However, it might change now. Now I'm streaming on both. I feel like YouTube might slightly just squeak past Twitch every month, but it's I don't really know at this stage. But in the hit, I, well, I'm only full time. I'm only here because of Twitch. In terms of being a full time creator, full time <coughs> stream douche. But uh, YouTube is just about beating Twitch at the moment. Certainly for February, it's beating it. January, I think it beat it as well. I know it's boring, but I think I'm going to go back in the apartment temporarily because there's so many Zeds. I just want to know where the players are. There's got to be players. I won't go in the middle one. For obvious reasons. Thank you for the follows on YouTube. Bootsy Fair Lights Out was in December. Yeah. The two. It was a three-day event, but day one didn't work. Unfortunately, day one effectively was cancelled. So, if you go back in my, if you go to my YouTube channel and go in the live section, <coughs> then the Lights Out videos are in mid-December. There's the whole streams there right now. However, if you wait a little while, there's going to be edited video of it. There will be a Lights Out video. Possibly two, probably one. going to go up the stairs this sorry the ladder this time because I'm wet I don't think it's going to be so easy <coughs> I think lights out one was better than two uh, I think I, I think I would agree but I don't think that's the, the I think the problems with the server is why I think that and also because we made it a much deeper in a way although we just we still made it pretty fair fairly close to the end but uh, I, I think the server issues on day one and the challenges they had just making the event run made the lights out event much more stressful for the people hosting it but also slightly for the people playing it as well you know like honestly I spent like the best part of 10 hours on day one thinking it wasn't going to happen at all and most of day two I was somewhat doubtful as well you know like uh, I feel really bad for the guys that were putting that event on it was such a challenge to make an event happen Gotta have a piss. I know I, I went AFK, but I've had two cups of tea. I'm gonna have to go for a piss. I can't. I can't wait any longer. I've been needing a piss since before we went to check that heli site. 
I'm going to quickly go. Hopefully when we get back, the rain might have stopped as well, which would be pretty fucking nice. Hardy, thank you very much for the 32. I don't think we had any first movers in March of Bamboo. We weren't the first into the tunnel by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, and we, even when we went into the cul-de-sac part of the tunnel we were in, there was a dude at the bottom. Uh, I think it was... Uh, it was easier to work out. Everyone had to go through the same single door. So lights out one, everyone had to get into the into the tunnels, right? Everyone had to go the same way. Whereas with the airfield as a finishing, finishing zone, everyone could come from any one of 360 degrees. And if you picked the wrong area, you couldn't really win it. If you were somewhere around the ATC, you were likely to make it into the latter stages. If you weren't, you were fucked. Uh, which made the, the, the first lights out probably fairer in a way. But I enjoyed the final zone of Lights Out 3. I think if they did it, sorry, Lights Out 2, if they did it again for 3, and they more accelerated the uh, the bombing zone stuff, it would be really cool. Right, I'll be back. The ads, came, ads on Twitch came on at the right time while I was AFK. That's good. It's nice to get one at the right time. <laughs> when the ads are at the wrong time, you see about 50 people moaning. I don't see 50 people going, yes, the ads were at a good time for once. <laughs> Mine's still going to be there, Alzanator, I'm certain. I see more. I'm talking about Twitch. Remorse code, that's a very long number. What the fuck is that? Uh, Mark, I've no idea, dude. If you're happy watching, I'm happy that you're watching, dude. Other than that, it's all good. It did stop raining. <coughs> right, 
Right, so there's still zombies down there. I wasn't... I was out. I don't know if... The, if I'd gone and the zombies... They might have despawned unless somebody else was here. I feel like someone else is here. Yeah, the mine has to be there. Got to start shadow play, so let's do that. Ledgehammer, thank you for the reset. Any time I get in a sticky situation, I think to myself, how would TRMZ play? Love your content. Respawn Keep and then mither the about work. it for half an hour. That's how. The old spawn and mither. Happy 15 months. Uh, Raiden, thank you very much. Uh, cheers very much, Raiden. And uh, Freshy for Life and Sledgehammer, thank you very much for the support, guys. 25 months. Uh... There's definitely players in this town, and I can't understand how I'm not seeing them. <coughs> There's too many Zeds for there not to be players. Like, before I went AFK... You know, is he doing up there? Look, poor little bastard. He's just stuck up there forever. I don't bait shots, Bluestein. It, if you're Lone Wolf and you're on an apartment roof, it's not a good time to bait, dude. You just get yourself killed. Captain Zombie just meandering down the road. In reality, if you if you want to bait and you don't know where players are, so you're just baiting generally, you have to do it in a defendable building where you're prepared not to overwatch. Like, if you want to bait the Northwest Airfield, you do it in the ATC and then you sit there aiming at the door. It's dull as fuck. But just shooting randomly here while I'm out in, in the open on a on an apartment roof is just suicided. It's no good. That's true, he does have a view. I, that is true, at least if... What we don't know is whether zombies or infected actually appreciate the view or not. I should think they appreciate the sight of something that they can go and attack. I don't know. Maybe they do appreciate the view. Never know. Where the fuck are the dudes? There's got to be players here. So many Zeds. There's got to be dudes. Like that one looks like it's been shut in an apartment. Maybe there's someone down <coughs> here and they're going slow and I've just not seen them. If there was somebody down there, I think I'd be t I'd see a dead zombie somewhere. I am sure there's players here. Uh, amateur Asu, that that bottom right window of that that building so nice gets like an anti-aliasing bug channel. in it. For God's sake, please keep on running. Oh, guy, thank you. I'll do my best. So I think it looks like movement in that particular room. That room there gets kind of a weird bug in it sometimes. Might be this one. It's that it's one over there. It's more entertaining than my marriage, Kappa HD. That one looks like movement sometimes because of the way the that corner room looks. The pane of the glass. It, there might be somebody there, though. You might be right, but. My blood and health have been full for ages. I should have got rid of this cold by myself by now. <coughs> uh, Angry Badger, thank you very much. This is more entertaining than my marriage. Oh dear. Oh dear. We know there's players somewhere. I can't see shit. It sounded like it was more up towards this way, but I don't know.
Right, well, someone's coming. I don't know. They, they didn't sound that far away. Guess they could have been about that far. That's that's where the uh, the underground area is, the bunker. Have a quick look on the other side. Aha! Not even looting. Surprised that didn't knock him <laughs> on. That's that's a 308 rifle round. It. I, I guess it's it's uh, it's a stab vest, but there are some tweaks to the damage system on this server, I think. But nonetheless, I'm surprised it didn't knock him on. Fuck. Oh, just peaked then. I think that's killed him. I think it was a headshot. He may not have had much of a scope. I think 200 metres from here, I think that's pretty much bang on. I'm pretty sure that killed him. I should probably wait. I was going to go and check the other side, but I should probably wait in case he gets up. Or they get up, whatever. He weren't fucking about though, was he? He just ran straight through. It, like there's zombies all around there. Hadn't stopped at all, mind you. There were. They're, they're, oh, the zombies are still there. He could have had a plate carrier from the uh, from the docks. I think he was only wearing a stab vest. There's a plate carrier right there on a zombie he could have had. Yeah, they might have seen me up here and they were trying to come up. They might have been trying to come up to my apartment, maybe. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I'm going to go down and loot him in a minute. Having a quick look around for anyone else. I may come back up here again. I, I don't really mind. I love these apartments. I, I really enjoy being around here and trying to get the odd kill like that one. You know, it's kind of cool. Hopefully, the dead dude's got some uh, got some more 308. That'd be good. Would the earlier shots be decoy to let allow him to flank? Maybe. I doubt it. I don't think people. I've just been AFK. I doubt. I doubt there was anything that elaborate, but never know. Leave a gun up there so I have pack space. Nah, bollocks to that. We'll end up get, coming up here and getting killed by it now. I can't possibly do without any of the guns. And I, I need them all. That sounded loud, didn't it? Was some kind of modded shotgun?
I don't think the shots were at me. I was going to try and go on the fence there, but I fucked it up. Oh, he, he had a better... Oh, good, look at that. He's got... He has got some good bullets for us. That's good. He's got 308. He really wasn't very geared, was he? You can't repair that ceramic one, and I've got a better vest anyway, so we definitely don't need that. Right, let's go. I don't think those shots were at me. I could be wrong, but I don't think they were. The only thing is the zombies that were near me were kind of running around a bit like they'd been aggroed to the, the bullet impact somehow, but it's hard to say. I don't think they were aggroed. They were just aggroed by the sound and then they saw me, I think. The cold has gone about fucking time. Smelly white equals a happy life. At least it rhymes, I guess. Right, let's go back in here, see if we can get a sighter on this dude. It sounded like he was close to the guard tower. Uh, somewhere around the guard tower, just behind it. Uh, Sam, thank you very much for the 25 months. Angry Badger, Old Guy, Raiden, uh, Fresh She for Life, and Sledgehammer. Thank you. Yeah, I think there was an M empty M16 mag. It was damaged, I think, though, and I haven't got a cleaning kit, so... Maybe it wasn't empty, but we're too late now. I think he's below me and not above me. definitely is. You can't open doors on the roof. 
I've ran past him. You can open doors on the roof, of course you can. Of course you fucking can. There's a door right on the roof. What the fuck was I thinking? My god, can't open doors on the roof. Uh -uh. Jesus Christ. That's the guy with the shotgun. I wonder if he was trying to do something stupid like shoot at me, you know. I bet he was trying to shoot me. I thought I had a 10 round mag. I'm to have dropped it at some point. I put the mine in that door. If someone's telling me about the mine there, I put it there. That looks tasty. He's an evil meat eater. His inventrix is almost as untidy as mine is. Uh, do I think playing on servers with more loot is a good way to, way to learn the game as a new player? Not really, if I'm honest, no. I think if you want to get better at PvP, you should play on... Still enjoying like, it, Paul. You absolute legend. Do play me a on... favor, tell Robot Lady to be just as good. I can't promise anything from Robot Lady, dude. I really can't. Sorry. <laughs> play on deathmatch servers from time to time. To get good at PvP, but if you want to get good at DayZ, playing on a more vanilla server is going to teach you more about survival, you know? Like, you're not really learning too much if you're finding the loot very easily. It's not, it's not so... It's pretty easy, right, I'd say, personally. That that doesn't make me right, but if you want to get good at the game, that it means getting good at survival in and surviving tricky scenarios and such like. You don't get so many tricky scenarios except for PvP if you're on a heavily geared server, heavily modded server. It's the... I've got a box of 308 somewhere. Where the fuck are they? They opened the, dude, the dead dude had a box of 308, didn't he? They're in my jacket. That's not. There we go. God almighty. We've got a shitload more stuff. I have got another 10 round map. I thought I did have. Decent. Do you think playing on servers with more loot is a good way of learning the game as a new player? I'm carrying these. Uh, once again, Bosch, thank you very much for the super chat. Very, very kind, dude. Thank you. I kind of want to go down. Now I've got that cleaning kit off of him. I kind of want to go back to my body. And... Uh, there are some more bullets there, but... Yeah, go back to that not-my-body. That dead guy down there. I think he did have a spare uh, mag that I can use for the M6. I definitely need his knifey booties. Yeah, that's a good shout. Oh, no, they're not knife boots. No, I'm keeping mine. I don't care that my boots are damaged, I want the good ones. 
Right, before we go back to the dead body, the dead bodies don't last too long, but it'll be there for a little while yet, I think. Before we go back there, let me just have a quick check for other players. He was shooting that shotgun around there. Fuck knows at what, though. I'm sure he... I, I feel sure now that he was... Well, not sure, but... I do wonder if he was trying to shoot me. The Zeds were aggroing around me like they were aggroing to bullet impacts near me, and they didn't... It didn't make a lot of sense. Maybe they were... That's not a spare C mag, it's G36. I wish it was a C mag. go back down and just get that, that mag. The G36 is, is not bad. I don't like the scope, but I don't have one, you know, like I'm, I don't really want to carry a mag for it. I can't believe I, I, I went up that ladder with him right there. That was so fucking lucky that he let me do that. One thing we know for sure, I don't think that dude was a stream sniper. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Like, he, he heard me coming at the ladder and got a bit closer, but too late, you know, like, that that's kind of cool. What about fixing up the M16 from the heli? We could do. I'm not actually a massive fan of the modded M16. I've had it a few times on different servers. It might not be quite the same, but I've had one on uh, day one in the past, day one Livonia. I never really liked it. Not a huge fan. I think I really like this with the with the the uh, irons. The one that takes the scopes, I've hit people with it and they don't seem, to, it doesn't seem to do the damage like this M16 does. And it may well have the same stats and it's just a, a kind of point of view, but that never feels to do well for me. It's such a narrow line you're aiming at. It's easy to muck it up. That guy does need to change. On, on that subject, I need to. Uh, I need to, I, to be honest, he may well have been when I was going up. He may well have ran to the next one. The door was open. He may well have been running to the next one to think about going down, and then the mine was there, and it changed his mind, and he came back. Fuck's sake. Take the other loot that I never took last time because I was in a rush, but it's kind of shit though. But. Right, I'm going to have a look at these containers and just see if I can find myself a 30 round mag. I don't really want to check the boats, the boats are a ball ache, but the containers are fairly straightforward. months of pre-recorded stream. Just love it. Happy looting. You spawns, dude. Thank you very much. Elias, thank you very much for the <laughs> super chat. Avatar, cheers for the resub. Fat Tay, thank you very much too. Uh, cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. Luca, thanks for your streams. Keep on running. Sorry, it took me a little while to see that one, but thank you very much for the super chat as well, Luca. Lucas, sorry. Let's have a little look at that. How 30 slots. They look better, don't they? Yeah, look at them, they're fancy. 
Let's see another TRMZ love. Where did those bullets go? Definitely don't. I'm baked. Thanks for coming in, dude. Appreciate it. Cheers for the continued support, dude. Aim point site. We don't want that shit. Shame he didn't go up the middle apartment. He must have come up the end apartment. If he'd come up the middle of the apartment, he'd have got a nice surprise, wouldn't he? Of a mag. Just waiting to hear that boom from the landmine TRMZ potato shaker. <sighs> All right, well, it just doesn't want to aggro. We're fine. Let's carry on. That one's aggro, though. That's weird. Isn't it? Right. No military on this bit. There's one there. Uh, Reedy, thank you very much for the support. I would love that. That would be fucking cool. Right, we've looted half. We've found nothing. Nothing in the... F what, what, not a mag of any sort? Put on my breath. I might keep that actually. And I'll drop one of the smoke instead. I really don't want to loot the boats, they're slow, slow, slow. Some more bullets for a gun that I'm never going to use. Holy fuck. There should be a Christmas tree squad knocking around somewhere. Horn gloves. Horn ones that aren't. Wait, I don't know. didn't give me a sharp flash of light. That was pretty loud. It might be that somebody might have a clue that we're here in a minute. Just by the way though guys, if I get shot in a minute, uh, 
if I get shot in a minute or maybe killed, be sure to yell stream sniper and completely forget about that time when I exploded that thing. <laughs> How did you know that you were there? I'll do that as well, probably knowing me, but there we are. <laughs> I think I might go back to my uh, apartments of solitude now. Liquid? I think not. Uh, 3D, new spawns. Elias, thanks a lot for the spawn. I don't want to die, Mike. I'm not going to do a tremendously long stream today, guys, but I'm not looking to stop right now. Uh, I ain't feeling exactly A-OK. -okay. I'm, a, I'm a lot better now than I was at the start of the stream. I had a really bad headache and I felt dizzy and shit at the start of the stream. It's mostly gone now, which is good. I'm 4.20 into the stream, that's interesting, and suddenly I feel better. The dead body's still there. I know I've been back a few times, but I'm surprised how long that's lasted. Don't take his belt and canteen. canteen ten four. I'll keep this pistol holster that's no use to me. That that's better. news that the team may well have helped the headache. I did take a couple of paracetamol just as I started the stream. But yeah, caffeine in the tea can definitely help. I, I, that's kind of why I went and had another one, to be honest. As always, enjoying your stream, good sir. Hi, uh, Bikin, Bikin Nut. Uh, I think there will be another Lights Out. They kind of hinted as much. They, 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 I think... Uh, They'll probably do another one. I doubt it'll be in towards the end, till towards the end of the year. But yeah, I think there'll be a Lights Out 3. I expect so. I, I, when, I, when I was having that choice last time, I was like, I'm sure you can't vault out the back. Then. felt like that was a headshot. I should have known better. Fire dog, thank you for the uh, converted sub and the resub no less. Thank you dude, hope you're good. Cheers for the 65 months. Right, I'm not going to stay on these apartments long, but we've killed two players in this area, right? I'm lucky to have killed the second one and him not kill me, to be honest, but I'd be amazed if there's not other players in the area. We'll have a quick look, and then we're going to fuck off somewhere else.
Look, okay, I didn't see the whole post. I can see Bullet replying. The, the general tone of it is paying £1,500 for a for a card to play a $40 game. But uh, to, to be fair, give you another analogy. How much do fuckers spend on golf clubs and membership a fees to, to whack a cheap Vert, golf ball around Ed the Vert. place, right? You know, like, the golf ball's not expensive, but it's the focal point of golf. <laughs> I, I, I guess the, the game... You're right, DayZ doesn't cost very much, but to run it well, I suppose, is a cheap. 1500s may be a bit excessive. I spent slightly more. <laughs> Karen, thank you very much. Got a friendly reminder from Mr. Vert. Ed Vert, eh? I mean, he definitely came up this one. Look, the door was open. Come on, then. Give me a dude to shoot at that can't shoot at me. For love nor money. We'll have a quick look and we're gonna go. Like I say, there was a well, there was a helicopter crash site over that way ages ago. Uh but I think it'll probably have been looted by now. That there, when you scan across, that does look the player at the bottom right. Guy on the dam, was there? See him. I'm not, you may well be right, though. There was someone on the bridge, left, going left to right or right to left. Well spotted. That way. He went right, so we'll be coming up this way then. Pretty sure from here it's about 400 meters to the apartment. That's from memory, that's not me gauging that by eye. Fuck is he then? If he was going left to right and he was on that thing, it should be anywhere around here. We should be seeing him. Oh, there he is. <gasps> I don't think that should have connected. I think I, I maybe maybe just went over his arm, but I don't know. That seemed close to me. <gasps> oh, you fucker! Not quite sure about the whole going into the field as an approach. That seems brave. That seems to be coming into a bit of a smarter area. Oh, he could be anywhere now. He, he was just coming into this bit. But, oh, there he is. 
brave, isn't he? Five hundred. He really not going to go for it. <laughs> at this range, this scope starts to become less uh, less good. The red dot, this red dot at closer ranges is really lovely and precise, but this kind of range, it starts to become a little bit big. Surely he's going to flank around and come up this way. Should build a statue of you in this area. I do like this area a lot. I will definitely concede that much. Grenade worked. But he was going that way. He had probably a bit of time. If he was going to try and get me, he'd end up flanking around there. But I just don't see it. I think he's just going to back off. check on the hill I think I'm going to give it not we're going to give it a little minute and then I'm going to call it and we're going to go somewhere else but I did say we'd probably see someone else and we did but he, he was a bit of a scaredy cat I'm guessing he didn't have much range otherwise he would probably have had a go someone to come up in the middle apartment so badly fucking hilarious ooh that got a bit flirty with the edge there for a second There's a summer camp building down there. That's that's new. That's specific to this server, but kind of cool. I would like a 30 round mag. We've just scared away the only guy. Well, we maybe we could go down there and try and loot the millie base just quick. See if we can get lucky. Probably going to regret not taking those boots at some point.
Uh, zombie, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the prime in here, dude. Aaron, uh, thank you very much for the resub. Saber, thank you for the new sub on YouTube. Excuse me. Right, I'm going to go and check the uh, armor barrier. I might not check the other one. We'll check this one, and if the loot's good, we'll check the other one. If the loot's shit, we won't bother. Van Zeal, by the way. Thank you for the follow on YouTube. Do I think a kill feed would be a plus or minus? If you mean in the game stabbing, it would be horrendous. Kill feed is not that's something that the game should have. It's too much meta. Like, if you're playing in a squad and you're getting information, like, say, say you're in a squad, like, I don't know, I'm on that dam with two of my mates and and then one of them gets sniped and it says uh, the kill feed says that everyone can see I don't know Paul, Paul's no mates that exist uh, number one was sniped at 410 meters by a Mosin let's say then you know you're like oh shit he must be on top of the apartment so he's not on the apartments he must be in one of the windows then has to be it gives way too much information out that you just shouldn't get This loot is gash. I might not bother with the other one then. Fucking useless. I'd like that substaticer. I'd like the ability to uh, like on player stats, like a like a somebody has a diary that like it doesn't it doesn't need to be in their inventory, but when they die it sort of spawns on the ground next to them or something, whatever, or it's just dropped. Or it, it's like in, in a bit like a like Tarkov has uh, dog tags, a little bit like that, but like a little ledger that tells you how many zombies they've killed, how many people they've killed, but not why. <laughs> it would be cool, you know, like fight, like maybe tells you how long how long they've been alive, and then some basic stats. If you could get that on somebody, that would be really good, you know. Then then you'd kill someone. You'd be like, oh, fuck me, that guy's been alive 47 hours and they've not killed a player. I've just killed the friendliest guy ever, you know. It would be really cool to have that kind of info. And, and a diary would kind of make sense, you know, like you're effectively finding someone's diary and that gives you that information. But it only tells you the basics. It doesn't tell you, like so-and-so was killed by a snipe at 600 metres or whatever. It wouldn't want to tell you all that shit. I don't know why I'm picking up these bastard bullets. A lot of problems. Got 99 problems and the 22 is all of them. To be honest, when my missus tells the dog, dog off, heard her doing it just now, I get scared. <laughs> Dominic, thank you for the three months. Cheers, dude. And now she's just said good boy to the dog. Oh. Oh shit, he must have looted this. There's a convoy here. That sucks.
yeah, the dog got a good boy, and when the dog gets a good boy, I don't feel happy. And when the dog gets t told off, I feel stressed like I'm getting told off. But when he gets a good boy, I get jealous. I never get any good boys. When do I get any good boys? Never. Num num num. On the upside, I did get roast lamb that the dog the dog didn't get. You know, I, I'm getting lamb pitters. The dog's not getting that. So there there are upsides to being me. <laughs> Living room, I am a good boy. Right, let's go this way. Landon, I've had it twice this week, not 24-7. They're, they're lamb steaks, they're about £5 for a pack, which is not cheap, but I may mean for the day, dude. The pita breads are not very much, there's only a bit of lettuce in there other than that, a bit of salad, there's not much in there. That heli is still there. I do sound a bit like Dr. Hibbert when I laugh, gaming dead. I can't do it on purpose, though. I can't do an intentional Dr. Hibbert. I'm, I'm sure the guy that we just shot at before would have already looted that. Who is a good streamer? Yes, you are a good streamer. TRMZ love. Rooney, yeah, that, that's definitely helping. Well, I've got to be honest, Robot Lady didn't really sound like she meant it, did she? Sending cow. <laughs> uh, Rooney, thank you. Commanderson, thank you for gifting living room the sub. Cheers, dude. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bagels, I don't think it really makes any difference to do the, the, the bullets count. I, I fire a few bullets and I reload. I, I don't. It doesn't really make any odds because I've got, I've got neurotic reload itis. Whether it shows me the bullets or not, I, I, if I fire one bullet out of a drum egg, I have to reload. Just had the best come up ever, right? Like that, Paul. You've been a very naughty, naughty boy. To the kennel you go, Kappa. I, the dude got shot and ran away like a wimp, straight into straight into a convoy, and then a helicopter crash site. He's fucking everything's coming up Millhouse for that dude. 
Uh, Pickle my Nick, thank you for the five months, and Village Idiot, thank you very much as well. Uh, I don't go in the kennel, I go on the sofa, dude, like every, like every, like, bloke probably does. I'm on, I end up on the sofa, right? seafood what like all seafood like, like so you can't have fish or like can't you be allergic to like mollusks or something can you be allergic to everything from the sea that's that sucks i'd have thought it'd be more like shellfish or something oh whatever uh graves the only place is the prisons you just need to get lucky but lots of people are looking for a bite Substatica, right? I don't think you can do that with VODs, dude. I'd need the option on YouTube for that. I can't do it with VODs, right? I, I, when I record for editing, I record them separately, but obviously the VODs are recorded by YouTube and Twitch, so I, they, they don't do it. It wouldn't just be the string talk, though. It would be everything that's my voice, right? So when I'm in a firefight or where I'm talking about what I'm doing that's game-related, all of that would be lost as well. I, I think I'd rather have it all lumped in together than none of it, to be honest. You're a bear. Donated $50. Can't see the bear. It must be down there. I think it's just the other side of that red house, but I don't know. Dad? I didn't see the bear at all, though. Get behind this tree for now. Uh, brain reprogrammer, thank you very much for the for the tip, dude. Very kind. You think it was in the compound, dear? I don't know. It sounded like it was straight to the house to me. Don't see him at all.
I finished the food at least. I don't see shit. Yeah, the AV1 and the uh, the better quality image thing can't can't come soon enough. It might be that he's uh, he's chopped the animal up and he's intended to cook it. You never know. Wizard Jacket, thank you very much for the support. Dude, Chubb, step in. Thank you very much for the uh, follow on, on YouTube as well. Have a quick look here. I don't think he would have come this way. I'm sure I would have seen him running this way if he did, but... Just don't see the bear at all. shots are back towards the town I was just at. How's it? I don't think there's anywhere to cook in that compound. If he did kill it there, I, I don't think he could cook it in there. Thing is, it's a modded gun of some sort. It, it could be, to me, it sounded like it was dre directly in front of that red house. It could have been up the other hill and on the other side, for all I know. I, I just don't know. Kind of almost want to go back to the shots behind. Yeah, it could have a stove, you're right. Uh, Zablat, how you doing? Not too bad, we're doing alright. Couple of kills on Alteria, got uh, a bit unlucky on Livonia. Some ponies, yeah, you don't have to do quite the hard yards if you're watching a streamer, that's true. Hello, especially if you're lone wolfing, lone wolfing Daisy, like, and doing all the travelling can be tricky.
Have I played the Long Dark? Uh, briefly, yeah. I, I don't go a bundle on single player survival games, so the Long Dark is an amazing survival game, but I, I don't. I much prefer it when there's other players involved, you know. It's not the same for me if it's just me against. Oh shit, I do see someone. Tried to put another bullet into it, couldn't. I think he thought he'd hit me. I don't know what's going on with this. Oh, it did let me load. I keep trying to load white like one in the chamber with this, and it keeps not working. I think this is the dude that killed the bear. I feel like he killed the bear over that way. They maybe use that? I don't know. Would you kill a bear with that? That's pretty fucking risky stuff, isn't it? <sighs> Let's have the tack back. Where are you? Tack back, yep. Got a rangefinder. Fuck. Two different guns. We just loot him some more. the log cabin. I've just seen him going in the log cabin. There's one there. I think there's one further back as well. Fucking bushes. We really thought there was somebody there. Two. It's, it's too far. I don't know where the guy is that they were shooting at. There's two those two are together.
think they were together. Anyway, they certainly looked like they were. <gasps> oh no, there you go. Look, he's shooting at that one. to get onto that hill there. That's my plan anyway. It might all be over by the time I get there, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Probably someone just been finished. Here. It's all going off. It's all kicking off still. So I think there's 2v1 there. There's one prone somewhere behind a rock. Get myself comfy. I'd love this EpiPen to last another minute from now. That would be so cool. Oh shit, I can see him running across the hill. I think he's focused below him for now. I'm going to try and risk this. This might backfire. The problem with this hill is that it's very... Uh, there's no rocks that I could see. That's, it's all open. I think, by the guess of it, there's one dead and the two of one, but I, I, that's just a guess from the sounds and the way they looked like they were flanking the one dude, but I don't know. Try to... I've got a bottle. This is the ideal time to be drinking, I would say. My only bottle, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bottle suppressor out of it. Drinking in an open field is fine, because though everything's in front of me, right? I, of course, I could get third partied, but that could happen anyway. However, now, if we're shooting from this hill suppressed, it it could give me two or three chances before we get before we get in deep shit. Curvature of that slope there and stop me seeing. Eleven months ago, you shot me through the heart with a suppressed Cupid's arrow. Uh, Luna, thank you very much for the support. I hope you're well. Thank you. Ah, oh, this sucks. This ridge is not good. I think this could be the end of me. This is aggressive, but... I'm going to go down towards where the fight happened and go to what they're probably looting right now. I just I should think they're still in the same area. That that guy coming around the hill there, he was kind of swinging around to make sure there was nobody else, I think. I think that's what he was doing. Oh, 
go. They were running around here, this is a mistake. It's just no Overwatch. The hill I wanted to be on to Overwatch is terrible. And I wish I'd stayed where I was. I think it's that rock where the guy went prone. Can we be this close to that many shots and and play it this aggressively too? I think the ones that won could well have gone into the town after looting and be down there somewhere. I'm going to go for those rocks there. I'm willing to bet they'll come flanking up this hill where I just did. If I go this way, I bet I bump into them. We'll end up bumping into each other, maybe too close, but... Uh, Luna and Samuel, thanks again. things just make sense right like I know I'm only yellow but say I got tagged to yellow health and then I'm trying to get away and I go hungry I'm not regening health I'm dying and just making sure I like the fight won't last that long probably I, I might die I might not but I don't want to start starving midway through this it, so yeah it might make sense to try and uh, like you won't you only get so much stamina so well I'm not using the stamina I can be eating it doesn't really make any difference a problem. I think we may have just stumbled in between the two of them then. Got anything to fix that with? No epoxy? That first shot hitting was very good for them, not very good for me. I can only hope that the ones in the town aren't with that one. That's very possible. So by coming this way, he's gonna ex or they're going to expect me to go straight down and away. So hopefully... 
I'll be dead. So. From those rocks over there. So I see him. Shit. See him. I don't, he's looking my way though. Yep, there he is. 5.15. That's one of the original two. <gasps> He's a good player. The way he's moving and stuff. I need, I need him to stand still. He probably should have seen me, that guy. He probably should have seen where I went. I need this dude to stand still, so... This is a bit on the edge of this scope's usable range, really. So he's taking shots at the people that have ran up towards me. I've managed to come to the side and now we've got those two shooting at each other again. That was a good idea until he, until he looked my way. <gasps> if he's still there or not now. I would really like to have got nearer. Not sure where he went now. I, I had to come back. I went prone. He was still there when I went prone. I don't think he did see me. Maybe he did, but I'm not convinced he did. I think he's worried about these guys rolling round to the left. The ones he shot at here, I think they'll probably flank around the cover going around by the, the edge of the hill. He's probably worried about them. So I got shot at from down there. If they're still there, I'm in a whole world of hurt, right? But... We know he shot at them and they were up here. Hope you're having a great stream, T R and Z love. My guess is that they'd shot at me and they came looking for me, then got shot by him. And now what I think they will probably do is go past this little ridge round and, and flank around that way. 
but we'll try and go behind those and maybe they'll bump into each other maybe they won't i don't know two years on also a great bg's album trmz cool it kind of looks like that fight never actually got finished they're still shooting each other Dean, thank you very much. Death, uh, thank you very much. Alski as well. Cheers for the reason. The great Bee Gees album. I have to take your word for it. I only know the songs that everybody knows, all the, the, the well-known ones. See, if, if that, the one that was this side didn't get killed by the sniper, it'll just dip down the ridge and go this way. And the sniper will probably look for that. So what we're, we're gambling on here is whether we get to the... I'm hoping they bump into each other, basically. around why the dead zombies is dubs dude thank you for the for the subbing on youtube dude thank you hope you have had a good day Beerus, yeah, it's been pretty good i got a little bit unlucky on Livonia with how it played out but it's been pretty good I feel like we're following. Oh, I thought I saw movement then. I feel like we're following in behind the one that just got shot at. Just a bit worried that we may end up then putting ourselves in the sight of the same sniper again. ran around him. That sounds weak, that gun, doesn't it? Some kind of modded gun. Is that guy not getting shot by the other sniper now? He's looking down this way at someone coming in. <laughs> Fuck! That's so unlucky. That is so unlucky. I can't believe there's a fucker there. So that we've got around them, and there's somebody else in the trees with me. I've just fucking been through there. He's like right there with me. I didn't hear steps or anything. That sucks. And that's the way it goes when you're lone wolf travelling around squads, you know. I think my positioning all the way through was pretty good, but we were kind of unlucky. I can only presume he'd probably come to look at the same edge line like I was, you know. Told you you would walk into someone. Uh, dude, that doesn't make you fucking Nostradamus to work out, work out that sooner or later if I keep playing like that I might get killed, dude. Trust me, it's it's inevitable, but it's a lot more fun than running away. What's annoying is I didn't really get much of a shot on it. It was more flanking and moving rather than anything else. Oh, 
Uncle Food, I reckon at some point this stream will end today. Ah, oh, bucker. Oh well, onwards and upwards. We're on a side here where we can go and try and find the... Uh, we can go and have a look, see if we can find a uh, punch card, maybe. Hyperpro, you've had it where you've been to loads of places and you've ordered a Vindaloo and your missus has ordered a Jal Frazee and hers is hotter. It's weird that, isn't it? I, they do have lots of... They have quite a few bird's eye... Bird's eye... Bird eye curry, uh, spices in bird's eye chilies normally. Sorry, guys. What? Uh, it was so spicy, dude. Holy shit. I can't run back. No, it's too far. I don't really want to run back anyway, to be honest. Where we are now is pretty decent. We can potentially get some stuff fairly quickly here and do okay. I've not had a look at the New York map yet, no. <laughs> I haven't had Jal Frazee in forever. It's a bit like a... It's, it's not bland. Jal Frazee's decent enough, but... I normally go for something a bit hotter than Jal Frazee, but not quite as hot as a foul. <laughs> uh, pretty much. No, I know, normally I go for Naga Chicken, which is one of the hotter ones in most places, but... Early 2023, I, I had a curry and it made me really ill. Like, only just for the evening, like something that was... Maybe the chicken was bad, or fuck knows, but I was really bad stomach-wise. Stomach go like, for it, vomit wise. It was really bad. And uh, ever since then, I've just not been feeling it. I've just... We had a curry yesterday, it was Valentine's Day, and my missus really liked curry, so I was like, well, let's get that. Just didn't enjoy it. Didn't enjoy it at all. Like, I've gone right off them. I think partly as well, it... I, my missus can't understand this, but I think anybody that... Any bloke, probably, not ma not everyone, but most. A curry without beer... I don't know. It's like, it's like a roast dinner without gravy or something, you know? Like, I just... It's not, it's not good. And I'm not drinking at the moment, so I had a curry yesterday. No, no beer, none. 13 months. Wow. Keep it going, man. TRMZ love. <sighs> Doppy R's is a bit too, too, uh, soft. I, maybe I should go more Doppy R's away, because I'm not, I did it was a bit spicy, but yeah, Doppy R's is a bit weak. Porter, thank you for the 13 months. Morris, thank you very much for the support as well. Uh, Beerus, thank you as well, dude. Right, we had some action around here the other day. Miss, Missus sent me a text going, it's dumb. I'm going to quickly get on online and cancel the order of that uh, hard drive I just ordered today. Not exciting, but I've ordered an SSD drive for recording with Shadowplay because uh, I'm using a an old. It's not old, but I'm using a 16 terabyte standard drive, and when it's writing, it's a bit loud. And I've done everything I can to soften it, dampen it, and it just doesn't work. What's my favourite rice with curry? I, I normally go for special special rice. Uh, sometimes pilau. of SKS rounds, that's good. Never get rice anymore, just bread. That's an option. I'm quite quick, I'm quite keen on uh, like French fries or similar with curry as well. It might be, uh, it might be seen as a bit of a shitter, but like if I'm having a homemade curry, just like out of a jar or something, or maybe something slightly poncier than that, but still homemade, 
Uh, I quite I'm quite keen on no rice and like French fries, even just like oven fries. I quite like that. Are you 12? I don't know, Craydon. I'm starting to worry you might be if that's the best best uh, repost you've got, dude. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's got anything to do with 12. I mean, whether you have rice or whether you have potatoes, it's still the it's still the kind of starchy muck that soaks it up. I quite like I like fries, but yeah. Chips from whatever you, you get them from the curry house, not too bad. Curry and pasta, no. Pasta's all slippy and not, it just, no, no good. Like the rice kind of absorbs up some of the curry in a way that, like the oily curry, and a potato does as well. Pasta doesn't the same in my view, although it, it is designed to pick up stuffs. But this is jam, somebody had actually dropped this. Well, one daisy as trash is another daisy as treasure, I suppose. Curry and salad. Boo! That's a huge no, thank you. I did have uh, I did have naan bread last night, which is obviously glutenified. But I, uh, I had a glutolytic tablet, so the naan bread was good. It was nice to have some proper bread. That's good. Rice to live. I'm getting it in the neck now. She's curry with chips, you scumbag. Hmm. <coughs> what would I like my last meal to be? Like biohazard. I can't give you the specifics, I'm afraid, because I... But I'd like to have three different meals from three different... Well, two. The starter and the main. My favourite starter ever was from the Criterion in London about 15 years ago. It doesn't exist anymore. And it was layered layered white crab meat with little bits of some kind of maybe phyllo pastry or something. I don't know. But it was about three or four inches high on the plate and about two or three inches wide. And it was like a stack of absolute unctuousness. Can't remember what it was, how to describe it. But it was like a crunchy layer, then a crab layer, then a crunchy layer, then a little... Like pickly salady layer, then a then a crunchy layer, then a sab, then a crab layer. It was fucking orgasmic. It was so good. And then the main would be some Italian pork that I had in Chelmsford. That was amazing. It's, it was so good. And then the main dessert would be uh, creme brulee. But but it has to be shallow and wide as fuck. Can I grab the Mosin I dropped earlier? Uh, where did I drop the Mosin? I dropped it. Found the, where did I find the Savannah? I can't even remember. You're right, I did drop a Mosin. I could find I could get that, yeah. Hello. Holy shit. I ain't no trouble. I'll, I'll get out of your way. Duty. <laughs> Samuel, holy shit. Well, uh, stay safe, dude, if you ever have to do anything like that again. Hopefully not. Uh, Porter, thank you. Maurice, uh, DJH, howdy doody. Thanks for coming in. Where's the police station at these days? Is there a police station around? I think I've missed it. Where's that fucking dude again? I thought the police station was right here. Well, I don't know. Demo, Alteria. It should always be in the title of the stream, just as an FYI. What do you think there's more of in the world? <laughs> Doors or wheels? Also love the stream, so keep me company when hubby's at work. 
Less than three. I think there's more of in the world doors I or wheels. Wheels. I was in when the US withdrew, and I still find your firefights more entertaining than my own. Keep it up. Like even in a car, there's slightly more wheels than doors. I'd say. Steering wheel. Four wheels. Bare wheel. Flywheel. Don't know. Where the fuck am I going? Give food, please. Tyler, <clears throat> uh, cheers for the super chat as well. Sorry I missed it for a little sec, but thank you. There's a couple of hunting spawning bits over this way. I think we're just going to head this way. I want to try and get to where the uh, summer camp stuff... Not the summer camp, where the prison area is. That's my plan. Define wheel and define door. Fuck me, Ed, dude. Back to school for you. I'm not listening to your messages anymore. Sorry, I'm not reading your messages for five minutes. The, the real, you're a real bore. Are you hungry? You're boring when you're hungry. <laughs> Sorry. 95% uh, boredom and 5% sheer terror equals combat. Uh, I'd say that's like an average day spent with me. Just a mere pedant. Mm. Acid Freaker timed out Barry McCockiner. Oh no. What's Barry McCockiner done? <laughs> Hello. I ain't no trouble for you, although I was hoping to get loot. Is there any loot? No. Yeah, there is like backpack if you want. You can take the backpack, you don't have a backpack. That's a fucking uh, jacket. Not. That's not a backpack, that's a jacket. There's a jacket? Oh, okay. Sorry, man. Oh. Okay. Oh, good luck then. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Wanted his gun. I've got bullets and a spare mag for his gun. Sorry, guys. Got it. Where the fuck is all the loot? There's a there's a helicopter crash site over there. There's no way that ain't looted. There ain't no way it's not been looted. 
Who would have thought that someone called Barry McCockino didn't last very long? Make a backpack from his skin. Now there's an idea. Well, I think that was the idea, Simon. It was meant to sound like Barry McCockina, but I don't know. I think by the sounds of it, he's a bit angry. Scott, dude, thank you for the super chat. Uh, very kind. Cheers for tuning into YouTube for as long as you have done as well. The other house there it is. Risk it spree. I'm gonna. I'm kind of looting my way towards the uh, the heli. That will be a waste of time. But may as well. We may as well do it, mightn't we? Waste of time or not? What else we got to do? Maybe nobody else will see it. How can you tell if your IJ is fully loaded with that ammo mod? You just have to manually load the bullets and then you know, you know, like... There's no way to know other than the fact that you've put the bullets in it yourself. That's it. And I can tell you mine's not fully loaded because I've got 11 bullets on the side and I haven't put them in the gun. But yeah, you just have to manually load the gun and then you know you've got all the bullets in it you can. That's it. Like, like in real life, I suppose. If you load a gun with all the bullets, you know it's full. And then when you shoot them, you know you've shot some. But did you six, fire six shots or only five? Dirty Harry knows. But do you? I was just making a suggestion something. Well, that worked. I need that gun. That's a shotgun, that. Repeater, I think. Repeater shotgun, and then there was the uh, the modded gun. I want to quickly check to see if there's anything at this heli. It's too far. Okay, I'm going to go back. To, I'm going to go back towards the shots. It's somewhere around the barn-ish. I've got. I've got a Makarov and, and I've been watching your bullets. YouTube content for a long time. Loving watching it happen live now. Thanks, Giza. Uh, zombies are anchoring around that barn. I don't... He might have gone in the greenhouse. Uh, whoever survived might be in the greenhouse bandaging up. Oh, it's a milestone. Best thing I can do is go in the greenhouse and check, I guess. in there. See now I don't know how many bullets I've got at all. He ain't going to come out anytime soon is he?
This is probably not smart. It's just giving it more of it, more of me to aim at. So I think the one that won is the one that we just spoke to on the hill, the one that was trying to tell me to get the bag, which wasn't a bag. There's only one door in this house, he can only come out there. Is the guy. I, I had split second to sh He didn't look very injured, did he? He's got a helmet on. I think I think I hit him with at least one repeater shot. Get that bad man. Fuck. <coughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Fucking bleeds on dead. Fuck me. Fucking spawning with half a bandage is gonna be helpful. Fuck's sake. I'm dead. You might be dead, but still <laughs> love you, Dad. <laughs> so fucking cool. <laughs> could have cut my clothes. Yeah, I could have done, but I still think I'd have been in trouble. Yeah, I suppose I could have cut the clothes upstairs. There's so little meds on Alteria, though. It would have been a fucking long, long goodbye. If I could have just got onto the car, I might have been able to bandage. Kind of, kind of glad I killed him, though. I had, I had much worse gear than he did. Not a bad bad result but obviously the the zombies just I woke up red health I had to finish him off I think that was the right call but oh that sucks right I, I might try and get back for the loot see if I can get the loot from the dead bodies I'd got bullets and a mag for that uh, for that gun that the guy died with Sucks to suck. I don't know if you mean me there, Riley. I definitely don't think I, I sucked there, certainly by my low standards. The dude had massively out had he had massively outgunned me. And he had armor. And I and I still killed him. I, that, that's not sucking in my book, dude. Uh, Doinkus, uh, Senile Surfer, thank you both of you guys. Grumpy Nerd, thank you as well. I'm really going to have to try and get a spawn that I can recognise to get back there.
good fun to watch. <laughs> Uh, Clarky, thank you for the 36. Thanks for the support. Thank you, nerd. Clarky again, I've just said, sorry. Uh, Hawaiian Fruit, an FPS unicorn. Cheers for the uh, follows on YouTube. Come on. This might be, this might be good. I don't recognise the spawns very well yet, but this might be near the town we just died at. I may have to run past it, but we may be close by. Oh, then again, maybe it's where I just fucking suicided. Bollocks. This is not my ID. Thanks for coming in, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. A cheers for the super chat. Respawn sleeping bag. Dusty Dwarf. Some servers have uh, base building with plot poles. I, I don't think there's many bases on this particular map, to be honest, but it may well be modded onto these servers, I think, yeah. John, there's a good chance that the loot might be gone, but it's worth a shot. If we can get a spawn close by, it takes no time to get there. The guy that I killed could easily be trying to do the same thing, of course. Oh, fucking bollocks. I just can't get, I can't get the right spawn. Maybe we should just not bother. Where did I get that savannah from? I, I, I lift a mose in behind. I also hit... I hit an M16. I'm going to forget the loot. I'm going to go this way. I always tend to hop into the stream exactly at moments like that. Tails, that, but where did I get, I, I dropped so it often. after I got the savannah, right? And I know I hid it, but I can't remember where I hid it. So I, where did I get the savannah, and then I hid it there after? Was it on top of the hill? I left the Mosin in the sniper town. Oh, I know, yeah, you're right, I know where I hid it. Yep, by the rock. I got, I got the savannah from one of the picnic tables in Sniperville. And then I left it by the rock and a bush. I did, yeah, okay. I can work with that. So I need to go over that way. Water is going to be my main problem. Hey, Steve, thank you for the follow on YouTube. Cooling, cooling for. Thank you for the new sub. Expect you shouldn't be getting pre rolls, dude, unless you just came in at the time when a when an advert should have played. It's all good, Riley. It, 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 uh, it, it's not exactly stuck in my memory, dude. I won't worry about it. Any ideas on a part-time job I can do after streaming? Yeah, you see. <laughs> streaming? YouTube? It's not really a part-time job, though. You'll have to do it for two years and earn no money to find out if it is, though. Beyond that, fuck knows. The one I was looking at when I ended up doing st sort of YouTube and then streaming was uh, Pizza Delivery. That's that's what I was going to do. Evening, uh, like, 
it, there wasn't a Domino's in Whittam, I don't think, at the time. Maybe there was, but I, was, I think it probably was Domino's. I was going to do pizza delivery. Hot, thick Italian sausage. What about short, cold, kind of uh, worm-like, pale English dude sausage? Hitman. <laughs> yeah, Hitman's an option, I guess, yeah. Could be some uh, food in one of these jackets, and, not, and there's not pristine one though. Eh? Where did it go? Not really looking to loot houses. I'm just trying to check the cars for that for food. Then we'll start. Start going sad. Is that a car? Is that a drivable car? I don't know. Driving cars on this map would be a, a bit tricksy, to be honest. But anyway, it is. J Harkins, M A N Z. If you if you're gonna buy on PC specialist, use the code M A N Z to get a little bit of money off, dude. Uh, so yes, absolutely, I do. So that guy I was shooting at went unconscious for longer than I did because I shot him in the head, and I got like, maybe I got a bit lucky that the gun didn't jam, but I had to hit him in the head. Because he had, he was wearing both a helmet and a vest, and with the the 380, I was never going to knock him any other way. So we woke up sooner because I think he hit me in the chest. Airplane crash or something much further south. Right, I have got a little bit of food. I might just go and try and get the mows in. I could probably do with a knife, to be fair. That might, smart, that might be a smart idea. Hope you're well. Enjoying the content as always. DJ, thank you. DJ Binbags. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of Zeds. Holy potato. Thirty-four months. Four more and it matches your age. I wonder if we might we might cross over the the other side here, right? I, I want to get down to where I left the Mosin. I left the Mosin and 20 bullets, and I also left an M16 fairly close by as well. I had no sights though, but nonetheless, we might as well go down that way. Biggest danger to me now is probably uh, running into wolves. Wolves with nothing but a couple of 9mm shots would be a bit tricky. I cross there. If I can cross there, we'll do it now.
but I did a statistic at 38 years old. I'm hanging on to 42 for a while. I don't really know what you mean, person, but you do you, you. <laughs> do I know what edging is? Uh, no, Robin. I, I've never been on Prawn Hub. I don't know what edging is. Uh, tricky. Thank you for the 34 months, dude. I've got three bullets in there, plus one in the chamber. That's when you round the flower beds with a strimmer. Yeah, or one of those edging tools. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Edging is a pointless exercise. I don't know, funeral. It makes your borders look nice. Sometimes, Funeral Face, the, the journey can be much more fun than the destination, you know. Once you've reached your destination, you're there, but the journey, you know, that, that, can, that can be enjoyable too. If you're really, really desperate to eagerly get to your final destination as quick as possible, the other people on the trip with you are probably not going to be keen to repeat, you know? Well, it's not taking longer. We're, get, we're making really good progress, but I, I'm still uh, I'm still thinking it was a brave choice. I should have carried on going back for the shit loot, shouldn't I? Things that could be said in a British Airways advert and about TRMZ's sex life. <laughs> delivery in the summer and I wouldn't recommend it there isn't no guaranteed income so there can be days when you get no orders Mafia, I guess it depends where you're, where you're working you know? I think you'd be you might be unlucky not to get any orders at a Domino's I suppose but it depends how many people they hire right but the ones I was looking at and I, I never did it, I never got seriously looking into it to be honest but I I was looking at either trying to do taxi taxi driving in, in evenings like maybe Fridays and Saturdays I was looking at that, or I was looking at pizza delivery. But if you do pizza delivery on a Friday and a Saturday night, you're gonna you're gonna get deliveries, right? You're doing it. You you you'd be unlucky. You're not making any money doing it then, you know. Fake taxi, yeah. So, uh, what's the latest with Christian Horner then? Like. He's still under investigation. I guess they're not releasing anything yet, but he had the he had the uh, investigation meeting on Friday. He's not sacked yet. If he was properly guilty, he may well be sacked by now. Rusty, yeah, I did mention that. We're kind of heading towards that way. Simon, uh, Hamilton is signed for Ferrari for next season, so this is his last season at, at Mercedes. Still no news, it's moving slower timeline than the original. Well, it's a very serious thing. Like, obviously the allegation's serious, but if if they move quickly and he's innocent, and say they sacked him and then he hadn't done it, you know, that would be fucking, like, that would be a huge thing, wouldn't it? Warner did just reach the RB20 and it looked awkward. He looked awkward. 
Well, here's hoping the car's awkward. It'd be nice if the car's fucking bad. Who's leaving Ferrari? Uh, it's going to be uh, Science that leaves, isn't it? What's his name is staying? Uh, Leclerc is... It's going to be Leclerc and Hamilton. What do I mean by sack? If you get the sack in the UK, that means you get let go. You get you get sacked. Not like sack as in cue ball. Cue ball quarterbacks in uh, America ball. If you get sacked, that means you get uh, fired. I too use the word I'm I'm describing to describe it. Yeah, it makes sense. If you get sacked in the UK, it means you get sacked. Pretty obvious, really. Fuck's sake. Do, 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 do. Fucking hell. This is around where that firefight was. We've come, we've come so far, and we hope for more. We're still so young. My dude that died over there was certainly not invincible. if we should go back and back towards the M16. Uh, I don't know. The way we're heading now is pretty much where I died. I, I don't... I, how long have I died? And my loot won't still be there. Maybe my gun will be on the ground. This on the ground, then. Dreyflave, dude, that is one hell of a long resub. I think that's as long as anyone could be resubbed for 105 months, dude. And it's only took me six minutes to spot it as well, hey? Blimey. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support, uh, Strayflave. Thank you for the very long resub, dude. I don't think that's a military one. I think that's just a convoy of shit. Uh, Jambon, was my, com was my body still there when I traded with the SS? Unfortunately... I, uh, I ran all the way to Giralto with nothing, and then some fucker shot me. If Christian leaves, Newey would evening. leave, and then the team would be in shambles. I, I don't think that's the reason. If he's guilty, he's going to get sacked, no one. If he's done it, he'll get, he'll get the boot. That's it. It's out in the press. They can't not do that, you know. If he's, if he's guilty, he's getting the boot. That's it. Doesn't matter, and, and I, I don't think it's a given that like Adrian Newey would definitely leave. Like, you may well be right, but I don't think Adrian Newey is going to like leave in protest if his if his uh, if Horner's actually guilty. You know, I don't see that myself. So he used to have a contract that was tied then. Doesn't anymore then. That, that's interesting. Uh, inappropriate behaviour with a with a colleague to pipe, like maybe possibly sending strange texts or something similar. But they haven't. It, it's it's an allegation of inappropriate behaviour made by an, a, another person in the in the uh, team. Hey, Soul, Soul Ginger, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. I'm going the right way here, and I feel like I should be pretty much where I died. It's described as controlling behaviour by the more reputable sources, but take that for what it is. Maybe he's being really strict, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're on the, like just the TV news, they were, they were calling it inappropriate behaviour and that's all they'd say.
Well, I guess it is ambiguous, Alf, but it's probably just the press trying to make it up because, let's face it, if it's if it's an allegation and it's at Red Bull, they're not going to announce it. Like they're not going to say what the allegation is. They're going to have to investigate it fully first. And if if there's a really serious allegation like that, it can take weeks and weeks to fully investigate before you can come to a conclusion. The bit that's surprising, though, is that he's still like he's there for the opening of the car today. Like in any job I've ever been in, if somebody was uh, if somebody was being investigated for something that serious, they'd be suspended while it was while the investigation happened. You know, like it doesn't mean you're guilty, but you're normally not allowed to carry on going back to work while you're while you're investigated for that. I, then. I, I thought I was around. I died somewhere around here. Probably died fucking ages ago, let's be honest. There's a bear. I guess if I take those, if I get really caught short for food, I can always fish, can't I? That's definitely not the bear from earlier because it was way the other side where the bear was. I did throw an SKS from the guy I'd killed, didn't I? I wish I'd, uh, I wish I'd placed it somewhere in a bush. We could have gone and got that SKS as well. This is a heads up, by the way, guys. If I die now, that's it. I'm done. I mean, it's gas. That's the first time I've seen that. Pike, uh, I'm not saying one's right and one's wrong, but if you get, like Hugh Grant was caught paying a prostitute and he got, he got uh, what was coming to him in the press and also from the police, but he's still an actor, right? You don't get cancelled if you, if you get caught using a, obviously it, it, you may well be doing it somewhere it's illegal. I've, I've never done that kind of thing, right? It's not my thing. I'm, I'm not trying to excuse it or defend it or whatever, but I am in a way. Like, inappropriate behaviour with, like, if you're a manager of a business and you're touching up your staff, that's that's a whole level of wrong compared to the other, you know? Like, obviously you're going to get sacked if you're inappropriately behaving with, with staff members that you're meant to be managing. Whereas, like, like Hugh Grant lost his relationship, it got, he got his reputation smeared and whatnot, for example. But he still got a way back, you know? He, 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 didn't, he didn't get cancelled forever, did he? Of course he didn't. Raw potato is really good for you. Um, num, num. I'd say we... I think we were on TRMZ fuck it time on the last live, to be honest. Yeah, you, you can't you can't get fired when you own the team, you're right. But I don't think it's, it's exactly the same, you know, that, like... I think Kraft's position... I, I, I don't know the story to be honest, but forget him. Anybody that's owning a football team, if you uh, if you get caught doing wrong things like that, that's very bad. You know, like as in uh, 
harassing your own team or your own staff. It's more of a, like a Weinstein type behaviour in a way. I think the Mosin should still be here. There we go. I can't believe how quickly we've made it down here, to be honest. That seems incredibly quick. The main thing I would like to do now is find myself a vest. Well, and a scope, but a vest especially. We're in the we're in the game, as it were, right now. We've got we've got a half decent gun, but no range whatsoever. could maybe go back and get that M16. It's not very far from here. I think there is a TMZ fuck it time emote, Adam. If you look hard enough and you really think you'll find it, slash someone's about to spam the fuck it time emote right now. Maybe people just don't know. Who knows? Nobody spanned the 4 kit emote. Can't believe it. Topper, Topper did it. Well done. That's the fuck it time emote. It's a running fork. Fork it. Uh, Resurrector, thank you for the 20 months. Stray Flave, thank you as well. Oh, they caught up in the end. I wonder if anyone stood on the mine. I've got to work that out before we finish. Well, it has to be a bit cerebral, cerebral really, Prometheus, because if you actually had something that implied fuck it, Twitch wouldn't allow it, you see, on account of them not allowing swears or sexual stuff with the emotes. Wobo once had an emote with a bra and it got taken away, I think. I think there might have been a bra or something like that, but... Alf, YouTube is a little bit behind because it can't do ultra low late or like very low latency because of the uh, the higher resolution and bit rate and stuff. If you do YouTube at 1440p, you don't get very low latency. You only get low or regular. They are quite inconsistent. Golf. To be honest, dude, this is how it works. They let you get away with it until somebody reports it and then they make it then a human decides that's pretty much i think how it works we might as well go and check that heli i guess i can't i can't see any uh, zombies at it but it is a long way away Our news uh, breaking. Formula One's Red Bull team principal Christian Horney says it. Christian Horney <laughs> says it's business as usual as he denies, denies allegations of inappropriate behaviour. And his first public comment since the accusation emerged. See, this is the thing that's a gamble, right? If it's still under investigation, he should not be talking to the press and denying it, because the person that's made the accusation is having to be anonymous, right? They're obviously hidden away and trying to avoid the press and whatnot. If it's not decided yet. And if, if it's been decided, Red Bull should announce something. But if it's not, he shouldn't be in the press talking about it, should he? Why? If he's still under investigation, how is he in the press with a Red Bull outfit on, 
on the day Red Bull released their car saying I'm innocent. That seems kind of wrong. Jaffa, it's a mod on the server, so it doesn't tell you how many bullets are in there. It just the, the plus tells you there's a bullet, but it doesn't give you any more information than that, dude. It's not a criminal investigation, but that's not the point, Alf. It's a Red Bull investigation. So, if you're if you're under investigation and you're in the public eye, you shouldn't be representing your company talking about the investigation you're under, right? He's defending himself as he should be. I, I don't agree. I think uh, I don't think he should be representing Red Bull as the face of Red Bull, talking about an investigation he's being investigated on, saying it's business as usual, unless he knows that he's already been cleared. And it's just, even then, it should be announced by Red Bull first. But the other person that's that's involved in that is not able to talk to the press, are they? You know, like. And if they did, they'd be seen as throwing Red Bull under the bus, right? The person that's made the allegation can't go and talk to the press and say, he did it, this is what he did. Yeah, Horner, to be honest, I, I lost a bit of... Uh, enjoyment in Formula One a little a few years back when Toto Wolff and, and Horner were properly at each other's throats the whole time it was just pathetic like it did kind of spoil it for me some it was really bad PU scope please PU scope please Ugh. This couldn't be more out and visible for a lot of players, but... Oh, fuck. Got away with it, he didn't scream. This feels like loot dropped by players, to be honest. Pioneer site's no good, is it? Gash. I don't, I don't fully understand why it's got this kind of loot here. It's definitely, it, it feels to me like it's got civilian loot dropped by players and we're just got in what they didn't want. So they dropped the Pioneer for something else. They dropped the, uh, the press vest for a plate carrier. They didn't need the VSS because it's dog shit. Oh, bollocks. I like that site, that site is cool. And they left the battery in it as well. Gun on the seat. I don't know. Too late now got an M16 over here with my name in it. and I've got a mag as well that is brilliant isn't it I I didn't really I've got a mag and a sight for the M16 and it's just by those rocks there I think just ordered my dad a PC by a PC specialist H is 75 and plays wow lol and got 30 pounds off 
Many Jay Harkins, thanks. dude, thank you. Cheers for using the code. Uh, I hope it goes well. Uh, GG. Thanks very much for doing that, dude. I probably shouldn't run in a dead straight line away from a heli. I could easily get sniped in the back, like, really easily, but... If I don't run in a dead straight line, it takes me ages to get where I want to go, and I'm an impatient dude. It is cool, by the way. I, I agree, Jambon. 75 still playing games. Jay Harkins, enjoy it. Like, ideally, what you want to be doing, dude, but you probably already are, but try once a week to play with him. You know, that'd be really cool. That's something I... I that's something I, I never really had with my dad. We didn't really have any share interests like that. He didn't like sports. My dad really only liked reading the radio and smoking and coffee, pretty much. <laughs> he was a funny dude, and he, he was good at uh, interacting, like meeting strangers and talking, and he was very jovial. But he didn't have any interests that we could share. He didn't like any sports. The only thing we did do a few times was go to the cinema. He like, used to take me to the cinema as a kid and I took him to see a few Star Wars films when we were a bit older and stuff, you know. Basta, thank you for the 13 months. <laughs> Bolty, oh dear. I think it was about here. What? And I half buried it in the ground. I can't believe somebody's found it. Maybe it was the next rock over. Aha! I need a cleaning kit. Yeah, Bon, yeah, I think I'd struggle, dude. Same. You'll be glad of him one day, though, dude. Dude, my, my dad would complain about me playing PC console games, but as soon as he found out he could play Asteroids online, he went nuts for it. Double standards. <laughs> Would you reckon it would cost for a decent PC setup that would run run games like Daisy and Euro Truck Simulator? Sure, nah. I reckon including monitor and keyboard and all of those things, headset and so on, desk. I reckon somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars, easy. If you're going to get something that's vaguely new, you can you can do it on a shoestring. You can get secondhand parts and you can do other things. You can pay you can pay less, but. Assuming you want all the peripherals and everything, I think somewhere around between a thousand to fifteen hundred, depending on what size monitor you want and how fancy you want your keyboard and your mouse to be, and so on. You know, you can spend crazy money on things like keyboards. I think I'm going to go onto the apartments first of all. I know I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a sight. I ain't really worried right now. Jefferson and Jean Mola, Jean Mola, Jean Mola, I reckon. But Jefferson and Jean Mola, thank you very much for the follows on YouTube. There's 
there's definitely players around. I ought to put that gun on the hot bar as well. the worst of all the things you can find. Look at that. All the food. Very good. Got gun shells, box of those, fuck that. I think whoever looted the heli before me must have come this way. They're probably by the docks. Food, but I suppose we better go to the well. I drop that in another life. get lucky on the uh, the hunting shop at the end there, couldn't we? Maybe get a PU scope. I'm going to check the other. I want to now. Go to the well. by players. Takes so long to drink till your stomach's full when you've got no fucking bottle. Cheers Aaron uh, Aaron Eager, thank you for Aaron Eager, thank you very much for coming in. Olden Brisson, cheers for the follow on YouTube. Don't forget if you're watching on YouTube and you're not subbed, as in following, it's, it's free. Uh, don't forget to do that if you can. I, I, it helps. It helps me. I'm trying to get to 500k. Why not? I don't know how many k I'm on right now. Somewhere around 479 or 480, I think. Maybe 481, I don't know. Here's my favourite place in the map, Dark Ones, but I, I'd stashed a Mose in here. And an M16 nearby, so I ran back for the guns. That's why I came this way. Here's Viking, dude. Wait, look, I think I must be very close to four. I'm on 480981. I could like I'm 19 away from 481. <laughs> Just shredder, dude. Thank you. Mike Gillen, I was just looking at that the other day. That's that's what I was about to say. I'm I'm on uh, 97 and a bit million views on YouTube, so I'm I'm close to hitting 100 100,000 views on YouTube. Seems like quite a lot of peeps. Or quite a lot of peepers, anyway. Yeah. 
Focus, I feel okay now, IRL, I you mean. Yeah, I, I felt really rough at the start of the stream. About the first three and a half hours or so, I felt rough as shit. I feel pretty good now. Yeah, not healing game, no. Dave, Southgate's not going to fuck up the midfield. He's going to get them singing like, uh, I don't know, like a harmonious choir as they breeze through each game 3-0, 3-1, 3-0, 3-1, 3-0, the trophy at a canter. can see it now in my dreams. He'll be nicknamed the uh, the composer. There wasn't 308 on the shelf, I don't think. I don't think there was. I think there were rubber slugs. Go back and have Maybe they were. It doesn't matter. I can't fire 308, but I might as well have a look. England lift a trophy. Yeah, they were the rubber slugs. They're also rubber slugs. That's pumpkin seeds. I did see them as well. Yeah, no 308. Shame, shame, shame! <laughs> I'm only going in these apartments. I've got no range. I'm going in these apartments so that I can see if somebody's triggered my uh, triggered my trap. Off now, GG mate. In Zane, there was no. There was two lots of rubber slugs, and then there was a packet of seeds. That was it. Yeah, but I don't like this scope very much. It, I don't like it at all on this gun. The three dots covering the middle iron sight, just, it's kind of stupid really, but anyway. I don't. I never used to use the red dots on the uh, in Call of Duty, certainly in Modern Warfare. I always used to use a suppressor. those subs. Thank you for subbing. GPGP, GP, Duke of Dirt, Keith Mullins, Puppy, Private Volley, Phil H and Brian Giles. Thank you very much. Large WTF. Thank you as well. Look at that recruitment drive. We're, we're generating new subs. There's nobody up here. Both doors are open. Someone's been up here. I left this dog shit here. Can't believe I'm picking this shit up now. Yeah, I, I'm checking the landmine to see if it's been triggered or not. I put it there, so it hasn't been triggered, unfortunately. Something just exploded over there.
Not a convoy, no. It's uh, something the server has. There's loot at it, though. We found some decent loot there yesterday. Earlier today, sorry. Got to back off where we came from. I'm going to go and loot the milling. I need a weapon cleaning kit. I need more 556. Five, Maybe hide the mine under some loot. Dude, the mine is there specifically to catch somebody that's, uh, that's coming up the ladder. They won't see it. There's no point trying to hide it. Logan, uh, thank you very much for the for the subbing on YouTube. Bogus, thank you again for the resub. Max, dude, I planted the mine there. I, I've left the mine. That mine's active. I can't take it. If I went and tried to pick it up, it would blow me up. So I planted that there two hours ago or something, three hours ago, whatever it might have been. So I've only gone in those apartments to see if someone's triggered my mine or not. Exactly, Uncle Food. By the time someone sees that mine, it's too late because they're already gumming up the ladder and they can't stop themselves because that's how fucking ladders work in Daisy. It's evil. through the uh, food. I took that via session. Hey Logan, how you doing? Thank you for the tip. Uh, cheers for coming in. How's my day going? I'm doing alright. Uh, I'm doing alright now anyway. I'm kind of feeling, I, I should be feeling good. I felt really fucking shit headache wise earlier but uh, I've I finally got through. I was on a two-week course of strong antibiotics, not for gonorrhea, uh, and they're finished today. I'm not on them today, and I'm quite pleased about that. Right now, I can I can have my stomach back. I think at some point fairly soon. A repeater there. There's no way that spawned there. Someone's left that shit. How is your day going? It's been a while since I have been able to join your live. Other than that, yeah, I'm alright. I hope you're good as well. Thanks for coming in. Oh, more food. Skeleton is still there. I've seen that's been there for fucking. I'm, I'm chucking that in the wall. I like the little plop it made. That was good, wasn't it? Then that chilling in one. Uh, cheers for the sub and cheers for the tip as well, dude. Thank you. any of these kind of military buildings? Kind of are. I'm 
want to see me kill a guy with the skull. I'd be happy if I can kill a guy with the Mosin, to be honest. It was it was for the clap. It was for gout, right, TMZ? It was for it was for rosacea. <laughs> is what it was for. Always happy to have you running in the background. Less than three. Basque, thank you very much for the four months. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Big Crafter, thank you for the raid, dude. Hope you had a good stream. I should imagine these cars are a decent place to try and find a cleaning kit. It's really weird. I wonder if this area is not as well travelled on, on this particular server because the loot here is shit. There's two kind of main servers for this. Let's not name them for now. Let's pretend like we don't know. Uh, but there's... Uh, let's say there's a zero... Zero? What? I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> let's say there's a Z server. And a K server. And neither of them are called Zero. <laughs> Let's say there's a Z server and a K server, right? One of those two has got crazy loot in these buildings and the other one does not. <laughs> uh, but this one seems to be the one that does not, I would say. Which has definitely nothing to do with Zero or Karma whatsoever. No chance. low shot. Right, weapon cleaning kit. Where for art now? I can smell. I can smell the cleaning kit. It's around here somewhere. Pate, you fucking you know, fucking pate. <laughs> uh, Marta, one of my favourite streamers. Uh, I've got nothing to watch on Fridays and Saturdays. Sorry about that. Uh, you'll have nothing to watch on Tuesday next week as well, I'm afraid to say. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers for coming in. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, Cheers for the super chat. Uh, Dave, Dave Clark, Dave Clark, thank you very much for the support as well. in there. Anything? Nothing. My sewing kit. Not sewing kit. Fuck. Shut up, Paul. Where's my cleaning kit? Weapon cleaning kit that I need. that. Can I get that? Come on. Hey, can I get a spray can? Come on. One of my favourite streamers, Mr. Paul. I've got nothing to watch on Fridays and Saturdays, lol. Keep running, my man. Uh, thanks a lot, Marta. Cheers for the support. Thank you. Have that. really thought we'd find a cleaning kit thought we were a shoe in <clears throat> uh, 
Dave Clark, thank you again, dude. Hi, Rossi, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Decent. Keep going, Paul. Dabbed. Seriously, thank you very much for the support as well, dude. Thank you. So this is a mod, it's not in the regular game, it, but you can paint the spray paint, use the spray paint to paint the vest. What does the tear gas grenade do? We actually used it yesterday, Delta, if you're near the end of the stream. It makes the enemy have slightly poorer visibility and they cough like hell, so they, they have stroke, they, I think it makes you the vision blurry. Yeah, vision blurry, and also they cough, so it allows you to try and try and push a player more easily. For example, I did it yesterday. It didn't. The dude that was I, I was with, he wasn't completely in the gas, but he was on the edge of it, and it was making him cough, cough, not cuff. And he uh, he didn't relocate, but it gave his position away. I still nearly fucked it up though, but it worked. Right. Now, on uh, one of the servers, that's definitely not zero, there's loot here, and then one of the servers that's definitely not zero, there is. Fuck me. Why am I even checking the rest of this? It's dog shit. TRMZ love. I'll explain that in a minute. Here's my plan, right? It, this isn't going to work, but this is this is my plan that I've just been concocting while I've been bollocking on about zero. If there's somebody right now looting the uh, boats or maybe the uh, the containers over yonder, right? They've heard those shots and they might be going, "Oh, there's a dude." go and shoot that dude with my big old fucking gun and then they'll be coming from the docks and so the only apartment that will be facing the right way then for them to climb up will be the middle apartment because they're coming from the docks and so they'll hear the shots and they go oh i'll go in one of them tall buildings oh that that that, oh, that one's okay i'll get like i'll go up the middle one and then they'll climb up the middle one to get to the roof going he he sneaky me i'm gonna kill that fucker and then they'll get to the top and get busted that's that's my plan Let's let's see if it works. If we hear an explosion in the next five minutes, that that was that. Of course, yeah, it's much more likely that someone just comes and hears the sound and thinks, oh, I'm going to go and kill that twat, and then I get killed. But let's not worry about the, the minutiae of the detail of this plan, right? That's a sad-looking tomato you got there. It all comes out the same colour, dude. <laughs> uh, teapot, thank you very much for the support. I mean... Cleaning kit. Oh, cleaning kit. Wherefore art thou? I haven't really got time to go anywhere else. I'm already now. Nine o'clock. Yeah. I'm going to check it. There's there's lots of industrial over this way. There's some containers here. I can check those too. But 
I'll have a quick look around, see if I can't, uh... I did that without getting wet. You should play until you die and you should like it, mister. Well, dude, that, that's not hard for me to sort out. I can just go up the middle apartment without, like, just start rabbiting on and go up the middle, middle apartment, but not read the chat anymore so that people think I did it on purpose. People think I didn't do it on purpose, you know. Nobody would, nobody would think I'd die on purpose at the end of the stream. Till death do us part. That's what she said, my god. <laughs> right, I've been here long enough now that maybe weapon cleaning kit could have respawned on one of these desks. Sorry, picnic tables. Oh, it's the wrong fucking scope, you bastard fuck. I'm not sure that the Mosin Rail Mount actually exists on this server. I've seen a few Zenit Mount. I've not seen the Mosin Rail Mount. Maybe it's rarer, but... Can't seem to find it. <laughs> you heard a surprise silent shot, did you? Well, I mean, I didn't. That was a lot more than 45 minutes ago, Boomy, and I and I clearly said I don't do bait when I'm like waiting on top of the apartments and gave my reasons. The bait I just did was much more sensible bait. It was a plan, and I wasn't intending to stay in there, and it worked a treat. You wait. Somebody's going to go on that apartment, in a bit, and they're going to go up there, and they're going to die, and it's going to be thanks to me and my lovely bait. It's a lot of zombies. shut that door. Normally lets you... <laughs> Enjoy. There's a picnic table there. Trying desperately hard not to lead evi leave evidence to the Overwatchers. <laughs> Went to fucking Parker. What a load of old shit. go a bundle on ranking the map sweet memphis but i really like alteria it feels really good right now i like it a lot it's a little bit like essica when it was in its more early stages maybe not quite so manic but i like alteria a lot i think it's got something that 
why they kicked me. Uh, hack, hacking, dude. I got kicked for hacking. Just got to buy another Steam account, then I'll go back in. I'll show you why I got kicked right now. Hustler, thank you for the follow on YouTube, dude. I'm not off yet. I'm going to go back in just briefly, but I'm not going to be on too much longer, but we'll see. I'm not streaming tomorrow or Saturday. They're just like regular days off. Uh, after that, I'll be on Sunday. Uh, uh, I can't guarantee I'll be on Sunday. I'll definitely be on Monday for 12 hours. Uh, I may or may not be on on Sunday. Next week, my kids are here. So my kids are here for Friday from tomorrow. They're here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I could take four days off, but that seems like too many. So I'm going to be off Friday and Saturday like usual. Possibly I'll be off Sunday. I'm definitely off Tuesday. Are you around Christmas time then? the fuck we supposed to do Friday? Well, same as most Fridays. I'm never on. I was on last Friday, but that's rare. Rare it is, rare. got the zombies trapped in anymore but I don't know are we going to find something here these are all potential hunting spawning areas Makarov Shitter there's a plate carrier zombie there A nice weekend Shit. for all. And Paul, thanks for the entertainment. Hope you will still run a long time for us. Uh, thank you, Sarlacc. Cheers for tuning in. Appreciate it. Thank you. Roxanne, thank you very much as well. I don't know if this tent is on every server, if it's just on this one. I've never known it was here. But you can see why I've never been here. I don't want to aggro that captain. seem to be any more zombies left. Oh, keep us on my... Oh, go, go. oh, there's convoy stuff. Well, not convoy, but there's some containers and shit. Ah, 
That looks like a convoy. It's not a convoy. I think it's similar to the other one. It's, uh, this has been added by the server, I think. In fact, I know I've killed somebody on this road, I think. Just drop the 9mm pistol. Should. That canteen is actually really quite handy. Like, I've been fucking around for a while. Like, with no, we with no ability to do anything but drink with my hands at the well. That will really help me. I've been finding a lot of these bullets loose. Do I play an official or something else? You can only play official on Chernerus and Livonia, dude. So we're definitely not on that right now. I'd play official occasionally, but I don't play it too often. I like the vanilla version of the game. I like no mods. But I'm not massively struck on uh, official at times. It can be a bit problematic with uh, cheaters. talking. When did modding think become a thing for DayZ? Uh, just after 1.0, wasn't it? It was, it was slow to get off the ground, but modding was a thing from fairly early doors after it went 1.0. It was always planned to be a big part of the game. I picked up a few. Well, yeah, obviously it was a mod for armor before, but we're talking about standalone. Pick up a head thing. Oh, I put picked up a yeah, I did. There we go. Put that on. I'm surprised there's nobody here. One thing, this server, the loot is not as good here. Like, the loot being not as good here makes it less of a draw, I think. Not quite so useful for, for looting. Missed a gun in the first container? I'm not convinced I did. I, I may have seen it and not wanted it, Big Kev, but I can't fucking remember what it was now, so... Uh, streamers don't tend to say what server they're on, why they? for obvious reasons. The first container I went in was this one. Yeah, I didn't. I definitely. So I don't think I'll be able to load any of my mags into that.
Uh, Poppy Pendleton, thank you for the follow on uh, YouTube. Appreciate it. Beasting hard. Cheers for the new sub. boxed uh, 556 knocking around. like upright zombies, no dead ones. I can't be bothered to loot down there, it's so slow. We could easily get another mag for this M16. We could, uh, I suppose we ought to, we could get another mag, we could also definitely get more bullets. I'm not looting the boats though, the boats can fuck off. Big churn, dude. I hopefully, uh, hopefully there's some better times ahead, dude. That sucks. I don't really know how many players are in the server. It's full, Hussein. I don't really want to leave dead zombies out in the open here as well for the for the for the watchers. Like anyone that comes onto those like the apartment where I've done, like the first thing I'm looking for, obviously or well not true, the second thing I'm looking for after looking for players is evidence of players such as dead zombies, right? So I'm trying to leave those zombies out in on display. We are finding the things I came here for, right? I mean there's a spare mag. that many bullets yet but it's a spare mag
damaged. Put a knife in the boots. That is that is criminal. No knife in the knifey booties. I'm going for that. Bollocks. Sorry guys, I have to stop briefly. I'm going for that. Hoping we'll get some, some kind of scope. But we won't get a scope for the Mosin, but you never know. I'm very pleased with the M16. How bright is that? Holy shit. It's almost so bright, it's fucking distracting. Like, you can't see past it, like like trying to see somebody hiding behind the sun or something. Default Aggressive, thank you for the 11 months. Beasting Hard, thank you for the new sub. Aaron, sorry it's took me a while to see it, but thank you very much for the sub as well. Cheers, Twitch Prime. Uh, Rocks on Punt, Teapot and Sarlacc Bush, cheers for the resubs as well. Isn't green better? Better what? Fuck the Mosin, you're about to get an SVD. Well, if I do, remind me where there was a... Uh, we saw a PSO 1 scope earlier, and I can't remember. So remind me of that, if we find one. Not until, though. Don't tell me now, I'll only forget. I know it's because of 9. I guess doing that, it allows me to range it. just a touch right in case there's a dude. Uh, Cakes, Cakes, Cakesters? Cakesters, thank you very much for the support. Who's a spawning in? I was a little bit taller. categorically confirm that there's nobody with an absolute fucking country mile. We're completely safe. I can go down there and shoot all of them with the Mosin and it won't be any problem. It'll be fine. It's Calixtus. Okay. I'll never be able to remember that dude, but I'll try. One bullet left in the deagle. Where are you seeing a light? There ain't no light. Left of the hill. I don't know where the fuck you mean, left of the hill. Ain't no light anyway. Okay. 
actually aggro one. I don't think there's any play here. Why would anybody use a light, by the way? It's like fucking bright as you like. You don't need a light in this. One of those fire event things on the hill left of the hilly. Ah, uh, okay. Closing rounds. Maybe okay. A lot of bullets for that. Hemoroptic. That goes on the Mosin. Or the, on the M4. I don't think I really like it, but it's my only range gun. Yeah, it is. That's the fire thing, isn't it? So that's uh, a former, it's an event that the server has, like a, a spawn event. So it would spawn here and then you get like little uh, like containers and some other shit knocking around it. You can get some okay-ish loot there but not that great. In it. Campfire, s'mores and a heli crash, how romantic. Thought we'd have a look, see if the uh, If any loot spawned on it. Fix the mag for the baby AK. We're getting light already. The light the night seems to have lasted no time. Just cleaning the baby AK mag, and then when we'll go back. Dank, I've not even seen a punch card, no, never mind making it in the bunker. Surely there must be somebody else wanting to get to that heli. Well, HP finds them by the dozen. Well, I wonder why that is, eh? <laughs> He's just got the special, uh, special powers. No, yeah, obviously it's not that, but I just haven't had any luck when I've looked. When I've looked, it feels like they've all been picked up in the last 20 minutes. Uh, Dings, thank you for the three months. Bolt, uh, Aggressive and Calis Calixtus, thank you very much too. Yeah, I saw him have three punch cards the other day, lucky bastard. But I think that's... A, that's Honestly, I, I I take umbrage with Mr. with Mr. Uh, HB on that, with Mr. Bombs, right? Like, if you've got one good condition card, what the fuck are you picking the upper, other the, up for, other than to stop people having it, you greedy bastard? I suppose there is a reasonable strat to that, right? If you've got them, then other people haven't got them, so you're less likely to bump into people in the tunnels, I suppose. Don't skyline. It's kind of hard to not skyline from certain angles on this hill, no matter where you are.
Alternator, I, I, well, I, I saw him when he met Jinxie. He had three on him then, but he might have got them from firefights, though. You know, it doesn't mean he looted them all in the prison, you know. I'm not being deadly serious. Rock of shit. No one's ever going to stand on that fucking landmine, are they? <clears throat> I'd quite like some s'mores, actually. I did once really badly burn my lip on, on a melted marshmallow in the UK. We don't really use s'mores so much, but I got one of those great big fuckers. And I was, my missus, uh, I wasn't moved in at the time, but our house now, we've got like a log burning stove. We haven't used it for about two years, but anyway, we were using it oh, six, six, six Christmases ago, six winters ago. And I melted one and I went to put it to my lip and missed and I got caught the edge of it on my lip. And it was like, mel it just got stuck on my lip, like melted hot marshmallow stuck on the middle of my lip and it blistered. It took about three weeks to heal. It was awful. It was, I, I did it in the fire and I did it for too long, but the, they had like, they weren't just really nice soft marshmallows, they were a bit big and on the outer layer there was just a tiny bit of sugar, like, so that the outer bit of the marshmallow was just a little bit, like, you just almost, just slightly bit into it. And that bit was just like melt, molten fucking lava and I dipped it on my, t my, my, my lip. I think it is a really manly injury, and it probably does deserve a purple heart, to be honest, yeah. It fucking hurt. Burning your lip is not a nice thing to burn, I have to say. I can think of one or two places worse, but not many. a press shot or what? What the fuck was that noise? I think it was the fence but it sounded a bit like a suppressed shot. have them yeah I'm, we're still hoping and waiting for the uh, the update on twitch's side to make the quality better it should be any 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 week month maybe i might want that it seems a shame to drop it thanks for coming in Don't burn your bum hole. Yeah, I could imagine that would be pretty smart in as well. That would be a sore one, I think, somehow. I have more bullets than I expected. Too slow there. I shouldn't have tried to switch weapon to be honest.
we seem to not have too many honours at the moment. I'm surprised. Press first. Set a reminder so I wouldn't forget to sub. Back to studying for an Ooh. exam. Love you, bye. Someone killed that Zed and it wasn't me. I can't... Did I kill one there? It's him. It's him what done it. Oh, the old, the old fucking plate carrier has done me a solid dare. Jesus Christ, I should be dead. I don't know if he's in the container or on the boat or what, but he might be in the, he might be in the uh, crane. He could be in the crane. It's hard to say. Definitely in the train. Whoa! He's in the boat! He's in the boat! And he's just hit my fucking gun, the bastard! I think there's more than one. I'm in deep shit. Do you want me to run quicker? No. I wish I had something to fix the vest with. I'm so fucking in. I don't think I can get out this way very easily. There's nowhere for me to go. If I try and get around that corner, I'm getting killed. It's too open. I think I've got to stay in here for now. It's the other boat he's in. He's not in this boat. I'm yellow. I'm gonna go. Oh, this is so open when I. No, no, thank you.
actually got a really decent gun as well. So, for once, I actually remembered to use the smoke grenades. I think chucking it to the right really worked. I think he bought that, and it bought me enough time for me to run across the other way. actually. No, I'm going to go for the tall apartment, as dumb as it is. This could be the dude that falls for my, uh, this could be the dude that falls for my uh, trap, you know, he might go in the middle apartment, he really might, that would be epic if he did. I haven't really got the gun to be up here, like he's got a decent sniper rifle, he must have a scope, he's, if he's not got a scope he's got a great shot on him. Yeah I'd love some epoxy or a leather kit, but I haven't got it. on the roof of the smaller building to the ship. to headshot him. I don't think anything else will do. I'm going to wait for him to stand still. Should have took my chance when I had it. He might come in this one. It was the right choice not to shoot there, but it fucking sucks right now. right did he? He might be coming in here. I was Let's I was must have been looking man. to the left when he went that way so I didn't see him which is annoying. It's so frustrating there. He, he was lying prone. 
and we had such an opportunity for a shot on him. He went there. He could come this way. He really could come this way. Sucks that chat give out movements. Maybe it does real, or maybe uh, maybe the honest truth is that I'd be seeing more if I wasn't looking at the chat and trying to stream at the same time, you know? Now, I, I probably missed him because I was looking to the right of the monitor, to be fair, dude, but I'm always glancing at the chat, right? I'm, or even when I'm... Like, literally being shot at. I'm still... I can't help myself. It's just one of my things. I can't help it. But nonetheless, I can see your point of view. I wonder if he came up the ramp or if he went across. I think, I think he probably would come up the ramp. That's him anyway. That's the one we just saw. I've no idea where he is. He's got a bottle suppressor. I almost need him to, to run out. Here's to a lot more running. TRMZ love. TRMZ love. Someone's going to tell me about that mine in a minute. When this old world starts getting you down, and people are just too much for me to face, TRMZ warning shake. really know where I can go here. The, this guy's this guy with the suppressed rifle is gonna have me. I'm not really worried about the dude with the loud gun that's further away. It's the it's the suppressed guy I'm I'm trying to worry about for now. He's got a scope. I think he'll end up on there. He might not do now because of the other shooter.
I think that was at me. Definitely it. TRMZ, love, it's my birthday. Somewhere down there, I saw the Keep tracer. On running, mate. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> That's a great shot because I was I was sliding side to side and he still hit it. Oh well. Uh. He was in the doorway, was he? I was looking in the trees behind. The tracer looked higher than the doorway, so I hadn't looked there yet. That was next on the list. But let's be honest, I wouldn't have killed him from with from there with the gun I had. I likely wouldn't have killed him anyway. But uh, you moving too much? I don't think that's true, Shin. If I stay still, he'll kill me easier, dude. But you, you start streaming and play it your way. Uh, to be even on the roof from the point of being red health by the side of the wall there was pretty good. You know, <laughs> All of that came from aggroing a Zed, ag aggroing a captain zombie that I then had to shoot. And then in the next fucking square, there's a dead zombie. You know, that sucks. Uh, Tony, Tony, thank you for the five months. Tavon, Joe Smith, thank you very much. I accept defeat so well. Well, I was only, I was only still going to try and get some action. A bit guided I died, but... Uh, Shit happens. I was shot to shit by the uh, by the first guy. He'll be alive. Uh, okay. Once there was two, I I wish I'd had if I'd got to that little window and seen the guy on the roof just a tiny bit quicker. Uh, I'd I'd have had a shot on him. You know, I could have killed him. One headshot would have knocked him unconscious. And he was prone on the fucking roof until I was aiming, and then he wasn't anymore. That's just typical, really. Obviously, now I wish I'd fired at him while he was duking. You know, but with the gun I've got, I I and so low health i was waiting for a headshot which was probably the right choice but now i wish i'd i'd fired you know nobody would suspect i go into the apartments to die at the end of the stream exactly daniel <laughs> here's hoping the fucker that killed me comes up the middle apartment right that would be hilarious uh right that's it for me guys i am done i am not back on an Either Sunday or Monday. Uh, my kids are here. It's half term next week where, around where we live. So my kids are on holiday next week. So they're here. But I think I'm sending them to my mum's, their grandma's, on Sunday and Monday. So I'm probably going to stream Sunday and Monday. But definitely Monday, maybe Sunday. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, that's it from me for today, guys. Thanks a lot for coming in. There's many streamers. I will be back again soon. Take it easy. Love you. Bye.